<laughs> We're good right here, Gazelle? This is beautiful. That was nice. I want that one. This is see, this is the first beat. You were fucking with the first beat, right there. Yo. Alright, Gazelle, this is your beat. You picked to go for it. Oh shit. We going in already? Nah, let dreams go. Yeah. Okay. 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 They know I got major connections. Yeah. See your ass at an intersection. Wow. Wow. And I always roll with that protection. Yo. I don't use condoms when I'm fucking transgender men. Okay. <laughs> I don't okay. use condoms when I'm fucking transgender men. No. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Put your anus on my face. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. give it that shit rubs. Yeah. 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 Uh, no TLC, but I like no scrubs. Yeah. yeah. And I wear no gloves. Yeah. Nope. Nope. She get all the teachers get the caca mop. <laughs> just get the crack on my Ooh. Mm. Figure eights, figure eights. Figure eights, figure eights. Figure Mark eights, counts. figure eights. Hey. Cut your corners, cut your corners. Cut your horns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I ate her ass. Yeah. And then I got pink eye. Yeah. Uh, okay. I ate her ass. Yeah. All right. And then I got pink eye. Yeah. What else? Uh, what else? Out. It was just a guy. What else? What oh, else? Shit. I didn't notice the thing what else? in between his legs. What no, else? No. What else? He got a dick bigger than what me. What else? Hey, um, but it's okay. I don't give what a fuck. What else? Yeah. I'm secure in my masculinity. What else? Yeah. <laughs> Let me go with it. <laughs> what else? What else, though? I'm yeah. secure in my masculinity. I don't care. Yeah. I'm going to suck that dick all night. Yeah. Hey, okay. And I got a bitch on my dick. Hey, yo. Uh. But then I found out he had a dick. Yeah. But guess what? He stole my first pick. Yeah. Oh. Come over here. Let me get a lick. Yeah. Go ahead, Lalo. Go ahead, Lalo. Damn. 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 Fuck the big three. Yeah. Okay. Goddamn. Yeah. I God the homie Vessel Tornado uh, beer. That shit was crazy. That shit was Damn. Tough. He was amazing. That shit was crazy. He's him. I'm him. Damn. I need to race him and do that with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dreams, yeah. pull me out of this. Fat bitch got, <laughs> fat bitch got chub rub. Yeah. That shit smells like spam. Mm. Oh. Mm. Right out the can. Yeah. Yo, pussy need a band. Yeah. And I'm throwing out a band. Yeah. And I got this rubber bands. Yeah. Cause they know that I'm the man. Yeah. Like I'm singing in the fan. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good shit. Bro. You're the best, bro. That was fantastic. It's your boy, the final T. 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 It's
Ma'am, if you're just gonna give me a fucking attitude, what's it? <laughs> hey, no, don't, you don't fucking call me that. That's fucking racist. <laughs> Man, fuck this. Goodbye. You hung up. Click. Yeah. I, I didn't hang up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was fucking good as fuck. Thanks. I don't have hidden talents. I don't have hidden talents. He's also gonna throw it back. Let really good. Nah, no way. Yeah, Lalo buttons, bro. Let me see. No, I can't. Even. Oh shit. Those days are behind. You me. guys have bad backs. Just like yeah. his ass. Like for real, for real. Or you just like, you feel it kind of stiff sometimes. Apparently, have bad knees now. I want. I wanted to know. Well, I actually want to know yeah, his fucking too. nicknames for your girl. But you didn't want to say yours because I'm sure you're <laughs> fucking. I think we might have manifested the. Oh yeah, what is your what is, what is your nickname for your girl? Uh, her? Her? Yeah. Oh there. <laughs> She's her. her. <laughs> that's 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 her. Oh, you don't want to yeah. be vulnerable. Nah, well I can't say f- Hold up, bleed this out Well I can't say fucking <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute <laughs> That's so cute, fool uh, That's crazy, you call it <laughs> We're in love That's beautiful Yeah I'm, I'm really happy for you guys <laughs> Yeah Listen, listen For the listeners If we were just on here all lovey-dovey Like, oh, we love our girls so much Oh my god You guys wouldn't fucking listen That's facts Facts we got to be assholes on here. <coughs> That's facts. Okay? Mm-hmm. I feel fuck, like I'm, feel like fuck I'm getting lectured like, and I believe you. Nah, let's just go you, to the up? wind down. What about you, guys? I don't think I've had like a really bad babe. Oh, I'll oh, be calling her. Oh, this disgusting. was kind of crazy, though. That's crazy. Nuisance? Oh, I'll be calling her fair. That's crazy, huh? <laughs> she calls me that, too, though, so it's all good. That's hey, it. She'd be, she, she be lying, though, bro. No, it's like, yeah. I ugly. Hey, Lord. Oh, because doesn't that exist in English too? Like, hey, yeah. ugly. Yeah. Hey, big head. Yeah, when yeah. you're in high school and you were flirting with each other, yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey Lardo. Hey, co- <laughs> Jesus. Hey, <laughs> hey, corazón. Hey, fat fuck. Mm, mm, that's yeah. beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, babe. What's up, my boy? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, you know what my girl called me the other day? What? Like that ass. I'm not even kidding. What she called you? A fucking torta, bro. Yeah. Hey, what the fuck, what Bree? The fuck, okay. Bree. She's over there chilling with some rim dip, bro. <laughs> <laughs> You ever look at your girl and just call her like Chichi's the Chonga? Or? What the fuck? <laughs> Jimmy Chonga? Is that what you said? Chichi's the Chonga is crazy. What, the, what does that mean? I meant to say Chonga, but whatever. <laughs> no. Chichi's and Chonga. <laughs> Chichi's the <and> Chonga. <laughs> can we talk about That's can funny. we talk about how last week? No. Alright. <laughs> yeah, let's give that. Yeah. So Kendrick dropped in. <laughs> La- last week we recorded an episode and I feel like it went alright, right? Yeah. It went cool. It went good. Yeah. But then we recorded the Patreon episode and that shit went bonk. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that shit went bonky wonky. Hey, 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 bro, uh promote it, keep your money. Yeah, so like I don't know, on Patreon is just a whole different feel. It's so know? like <laughs> it's so good over there, yeah. huh? Like we were supposed to record thirty like what, twenty to thirty minutes? Yeah. Pulse. And we recorded like an hour. How much was it? You're, we did like an hour twenty. We're not even sh- recording episodes no more, just wind down. Because that shit was so <laughs> fucking good. Like <laughs> dead ass. I'm not even fucking joking around. Like that but shit was fucking good. The best conversation of my life. Yeah. I think personally. I look he got heated with y'all. Yeah, yeah, you thought fuck that shit motherfucking don't deserve it. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't let them know, bro. What? If they want to oh, find out, true. they can go. We also say the N word on there, so make sure you go watch. I'm trying to sell this shit. Yeah, they don't know which N word, huh? Yeah. yeah. That's true. Negotiation. Imagine fools are like, I'm here because I heard you guys heard, said the N word. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was a safe space. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> For their racism. Yeah. You're racist. How much do you think your girl's OnlyFans will cost? No, oh, you did ask that earlier. Um, Like, do you think she'd be like a free trial, bitch? That's crazy, though, because you're really like rating your girl like type shit right, right now. So I'm asking. I'm t- like, asking the tough questions. Nobody wants to <laughs> <laughs> What's the most expensive tier? Oh, I don't ah, know. this pussy like a buck fifty. <laughs> hey, 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 you guys do yours now. Yeah, yeah, like a hey, wait up, my turn. Hey, what's the most expensive? Tier? <laughs> yeah, you cut my shit out. I feel like my girl would do videos for like six, <laughs> six what dollars. <laughs> that's reasonable, right? For what? God, that, that's what Kelly Blue Book says. No, <laughs> that's cheap as shit, bro. You getting a deal? <laughs> That's cheap. <laughs> what, what, six bucks what, if, what if your girl? What if your girl? What if your girl comes up to you and she's like, "Damn, babe, like no one's buying my shit. Are you gonna buy her bro. shit?" Well, if it's at six dollars, if you can't afford that, bitch, you use the promo code PLP. <laughs> we How not. much do you think your girl's OnlyFans will cost? That's crazy. Pri- priceless, bro. Nah, oh, don't back. give us the cop out. Go. Don't give us the cop out answer. Go, I was go. vulnerable. I, hey, look. I, <laughs> hey, I'm a <laughs> After I was vulnerable, you just gonna be like priceless. I was vulnerable. Crazy. Look, I, I'm, if Brie had, a, look, I don't want hey, you to have one. I don't, I don't want you to have one. She's gonna be a cop, huh? She's, for here, sure? with, she's here with the rim there, but look. If Yo, she, what the fuck? 
If she had one, uh, I don't want her to have one. I think just spitball in here, I think it would be $11,000, bro. Yeah? Yeah, le- low key. Hey, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> Fuck there's you, levels, bro. there's levels. Yeah, bro. My girl had OnlyFans. I'd buy that shit and then I'd dispute the charge later. <laughs> <to the bank. laughs> this shit was a rip It's off. fraud. <laughs> a rip off. It's Yo. <laughs> it's fraud. <laughs> nah, I bro. Believe you, it. I'm going to keep it a stack. Like, I don't want to put my girl's business out there, but that shit hurt. <laughs> okay, well, it's funny. Look, I'm going to say her holes are worth more than six bucks, bro. What, what do you think? <laughs> don't make me look that's, like an asshole now say, for saying bro. that shit. <laughs> I said for the first three. <laughs> I said for the first three months. You said, "Don't make me look like the asshole," because I said that shit. We didn't make you say six dollars for the first three months. <laughs> oh, oh my fault. Oh, the deal. <laughs> After that is six hundred. Oh, that's how you reel them in. I yes. got it. Oh, my fault. Gee, you guys I- don't know how to do business. <laughs> Bro, Give like, me the LLC paperwork now. <laughs> you're like this Latino. That's how they would rip you. How, how much do you think your girls uh, uh, OnlyFans would cost? I told you the highest tier. Highest tier. What's the highest tier? At the highest tier amount of money in the world, like six million, I probably say like minimum, like one billion. That's a steal. <laughs> That's yeah, saying. dude. That's a, a steal. A month. A month. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> nah, I co-sign that. Mine too. You know what? My girl's only fan is actually. <laughs> in- <laughs> It's just irreplaceable. I don't think anybody could pay for it, bro. <laughs> Everything's on private. You know what I do think is funny right now that we're talking about that is every time we have a guest on, and we're so used to the outros and always shouting out our girls. Yeah. Like, what, you guys always let the guests go first. And they're like, oh, yeah, shout out, you know, whatever, this and this and that. And then it gets to us. And we're like, shout out our girls. And they're like, oh, yeah, shout out my girls. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> we always put them in that spot, We bro. guilt trip them <laughs> into shouting out their girls. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah I would have shouted out my girl. Yeah, her. but my, I would have just got it out the way right away. Got it out if I was a guest there. on a podcast. Yeah, I would have been on the rap like, shout out my girl, you know? I wouldn't even mention it. <laughs> yeah, I believe you. Oh, that's fucked up. Six dollars. See, now y'all believe in shit. <laughs> no, that's is, crazy. No, no, this is. You know what? Oh. More shit on the wine there. If you guys like, wouldn't <laughs> listen, if dreams was was nice on here, you guys wouldn't listen. Dreams is so. No, nice no, fuck it. I'll say it on the wine down. Oh, no, no, no. I'll put this on the wine down. Yeah, dreams is so nice on the wine down. It's oh yeah, yeah. So yeah. weird vibe because it's like you just get the mean one here. Loki, dreams is the opposite on there that his name is like awakes. Z with his get the end. <laughs> it's yeah. nightmares. No, 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 no. Well, cause yeah, cause you nice dream. What's the opposite night- of dream? What's a nice dream? Nightmare and nightmares. Oh, you're right, nightmares. I was not right. He was. I'm lying. No, but that that doesn't bro, you make should, sense. You should change your rapper name, bro. Limited nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, you can tell I'm the man here. Nightmares, what you gonna tell people? <laughs> I'm only here for 20 minutes. <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Wait, have you ever? Because that's all they can handle, bro. Because you're so scary. You're so good. Oh, yeah. Hey, have you ever explained how you got your nickname? INFI. They, you know what? Someone and actually, when I put up the question for the week, that was one of the questions they asked was like, how did we all get our nicknames? Oh, for real? Yeah. Welcome back to the Tuesday and Thursday story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> DJ C4. But how did you get it? I'm just curious. Fuck the question. That came from me now. Yeah. Fuck from now. Whoever asked this before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck you said it. Uh, dead ass, bro. <laughs> there's no dead ass. There's no limit to like what you can do when you're in the ghetto. Food. Like when you're in the hood, like you could just call yourself anything. That's you true. could just call yourself banana bread, and motherfuckers will be like, "That's the homie bread, dog." <laughs> like, homie but dead ass, just so I just call my, started calling myself even the drinks because I thought it was cool, and the homie thought helped me come up with the name though, because I well I, I've always wanted to rap. So that shit was always just like, what, what should I call myself? And I was like, it was either going to be infinite or it was going to be dreams. And they were like, well, why not put the both together? And I was like, you fucking spitting right now. Yeah. You're so smart. <laughs> and that's how I was birthed. And then I just brought it with me to the shuffling scene. Did I get it? Yeah, I think so. I think I did. I Mr. Miyagi probably. over here. That shit flew away when you opened your hands. <laughs> that shit fucking exploded. <laughs> You know your own strength. I'm so strong. Yeah. You're like, yeah. What but, you could have And then I just brought it with me went to shuffling. Fuck, I've been in dreams for a long ass time now I think about it. Like at least 15 years. Chill out, bro. Stop. How long have you been with though? Damn, these dogs are <laughs> crazy. Oh, there's a dog fight in the room. Yeah, there's a dog fight in the back. No. Wow. It's a sensitive topic right now. <laughs> Wait, how old were you when you when you came up with that name? Like 12. And then we just stick to it, huh? Isn't that crazy how we're just at like, that's, 12? That's, that's the, crazy. That's the yeah. best you could do. 12 in middle school. I thought that was creative as fuck for my time, bro. I was like, I didn't even know what infinite meant. Me neither. It means like. I still don't. Yeah. It means like I can't get enough of you, I feel. I, I only want. Yeah, that, that's, that's what it means now. <laughs> I feel like it's, you get an infinite amount. You'll find out more on the wind down. <laughs> 
we just not promoted the yeah, white yeah, yeah, yeah. down? We, we haven't promoted it at all. If anything. Yeah. What That's are we going to call that shit, by the way? PLP after dark? I like that. PLP. <laughs> You named it. Hey, fine, we'll, fine it. we'll call it that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm spitballing here. Fuck. All right, you got you to buy a little, little neon sign that says After Dark right here, and then we're going to turn it on. Oh, shit. I'm spitballing here. I'm spitballing here. After Dark or After Hours? What do you think sounds better? After Dark sounds like a porno. Mm. I'm done. It was fire. Yeah, actually, After Dark is cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it cost $6. Yeah. I don't. The, <laughs> okay. That's bro. another thing, bro. People keep asking us to have a porn star on here, bro. I don't know, man. We could get my girl. <laughs> yeah. Dude, if we had a porn star in the if we had a porn star in here, bro, I'd be like this, just laser. There's, you'll never see that much eye contact My ever again. It it's hobby. If we, if we interviewed a porn star, it's hobby. She'd be sitting right here, I'd be like this. I don't want to talk to her because I don't want my girl talking. I'm be like, that's crazy. So how'd you get your start doing that? How'd you get your start? <laughs> that's, that's wild. wild. Yeah. That's no. wild. If we had a porn star here, I'd be like, how? Whoa, 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 whoa. How big? <laughs> bazinga! Bazinga! How big are they? That's that I can only imagine. I've never even heard of you, actually. What's your yeah. name again? <laughs> right, we're really? all just like this. Chloe's surreal. <laughs> just right there. You got big knockers. Imagine. Oh shit! Oh yeah. By the way, we haven't talked about it, but we're talking about the. Like I don't know if we launched the Patreon yet. We have. We just kind of recorded an episode. Yeah. I think we soft launched it almost. Mm -hmm. This dick is soft. <laughs> okay, what it the is. Fuck? I'm, I'm glad it's soft because it'd be weird if it was hard right now. But yeah, we soft launched uh, Patreon. Um, do we know what we're going to do? Just throw ass, take names. Yeah. No, well, we're going to do the wind down episode well, the, on there. That shit. We're basically just going to upload Maple Alley videos to it. <laughs> <laughs> fuck the YouTube channel. <laughs> Now you can buy this shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. And for everything, and for every copy you buy, for every subscription, every copy. for every subscription you buy, we'll send you a DVD of fucking, what's that movie with Jackie Chan? Rush Hour? Oh, that's a good movie. So you're getting your money's worth. My yeah. favorite Jackie Chan movie was the one with uh, he did with Owen. Jackie Chan's a fucking legend. Hey, hey chill your ADHD and explain what you're explaining. <laughs> oh, yeah, Patreon. Okay, no, okay. So Come Beto on. has some... Some vlogs in the vault. I know we've kind of talked about it before, but you have some vlogs in the vault of like us just like hanging out here. Me too. With like our guests and stuff, and like usually it's like drinking with those foods or just just nah. asking them like. Basically, Beto, Beto would ask them like questions and shit. Basically, just behind the scenes of what happened that day that we recorded. With yeah, so it's like just short snippets of like what it's like after the podcast. And we'll explain more about it on the wind down. <laughs> And then we recorded. Come on, it's like giving up shit for <laughs> free. Good. Keep doing that. Keep doing that. that was fucking good, yeah. bro. That, that was good. good. And then last week we recorded an episode, um, which is like us podcasting, but just way more chill. I think it was more. It was better topic, yeah, but it was, it was good. Like I don't, it was, think, I don't think it was more chill. I think it was more more amped and better. <laughs> was it? No, I think, no, it, was, I think no, it was just an interesting chill. conversation. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And I feel like when we get interested, like it starts off chill, but then we get like pretty like passionate about it. Yeah. I know you're chill like that. Yeah. <laughs> it's because I feel like on the podcast, we have uh, we owe it to you guys to like want to entertain. And over there, we didn't go into it with that objective. But in the end, you still you do, do that anyways, you know, because. But it was very like more natural, I felt. In other words, you're going to get your money for it. Yeah, I, I think what it is, too, is like Gazelle has said it before, too. Sometimes we have our best conversations when we're not recording. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'll yeah. take a break and we'll start talking. We're like, fuck, that would have been perfect for the pod. Yeah. And then we don't, we just don't redo it because then it feels fake. Yeah, you know no, for sure. Yeah. So then nope. take, taking off the headsets or whatever, like knowing we're like doing something else, we started having one of those conversations. Yeah. And it was like those good conversations that we have when we're not recording. But this time it was recorded. Yeah, yeah. it was fun. And we're going to do one after this one too. So, you know, no, if you guys want to go over there. <clears throat> Patreon.com slash whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. And event yeah. <clears throat> eventually, we'll probably take in questions from people from Patreon. And then, like, obviously, say your tag or whatever. Yeah. You know, it's probably going to be. Questions from you guys. It's more like it's directed towards you. I, I, I said it on the wind down, but I'll say it here. Just uh, keep it on the wind down, bro. I'm going to keep it on the wind down. You're right. <laughs> Matter of fact, the whole intro, put it in this fucking This whole down. podcast yeah. is going to be on the wind down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the wind down episode. Welcome, down, welcome back to the wind down <laughs> episode. Hell yeah. But, no, what did you say, though? I was just gonna say uh, <laughs> that I said uh, they're gonna get like first party for everything and send some merch. They're gonna get 
like the people that buy the Patreon, we're gonna send them the link for the merch. Right? Yeah, first. hell yeah! Like at least like thirty minutes before. Thirty minutes. <laughs> hey, okay, cancel, cancel. They better be on that no, shit. No, it's because it's because it's, it's gonna sell out. Oh, what can I say? They better be on that shit quick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're not doing pre-sale next time. We, fuck yeah, I'm not paying for that oh, shit up okay. front. This <laughs> motherfucker. Well, we just buy a bunch of shit and then next time. Like, oh. Chico Tosi going like, who does that? It's we so buy- stupid. I was like, yeah, it's so dumb. Why the fuck we would do pre-orders? We buy five sweaters <laughs> and be like, oh, it sold out in two minutes. No way. <laughs> we buy five. And <laughs> We're all wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah so, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not as pre-orders, but anyways. But shit, like, but I don't know. Probably help them pick, p- pick the shit and... Yeah, design colors and shit like that. Should this episode be the one where like we we're announcing Patreon? Then fuck it, and then we're dropping Patreon. There it is. It. If it's edited, it was yeah. It's already edited. It should be yeah. this episode. It's a wind down. No, the wind down episode is it edited? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So well, it's just it's already it is what it is. You know, it's a soft launch. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. We said we said a couple of things. That... Oh yeah, they already did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all right, that's fine though. What did we say? What we said a couple of things that shouldn't be said. In the in the thing, in the wine, in the wine. Oh, we're just promoting uh, it even more. Oh, yeah, that's true. I guess I'll just upload it like that. Oops. No, dude, please don't upload it like that. Dude. <laughs> no, <laughs> let me take a final look at it before you go. <laughs> so, I, so I said six dollars. Okay. Uh, what did you say for the for first Patreon? three months? Yeah. Uh, for OnlyFans, I feel like you think she'd do toe pics. I feel like she has to, bro. What the fuck? You got to be into the fetishes shit if you're doing the OnlyFans shit. You got to do fetishes. Mm. See, I don't think my girl be giving out nudes. Y'all saw that guy that was eating someone's leg right now? Who? It was some homeless. I think it's a homeless guy. It was on TikTok or some shit? It was, was, that, on, it was on Twitter. Right? Was that shit hot or not? No, that shit was weird. Huh? It was a fetish? No, like some, somebody He's got- eating a leg, like cannibalism? So somebody got ran over by a train and the and he took the he took the leg. He dismembered the leg off the body that got hit by the train and started chewing it in the middle of the street. Well, if, and he's got, not going to use it. And, and the cops- Took him because you know it's mutilating a dead body. What the fuck? Can I can I can I just say that there's a hot take, all right? <clears throat> or unpopular? I don't know, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I think zombies have happened way more times than we've ever thought they've happened, which is obviously zero. But like, I think we've had some zombie outbreaks or something out there, and we just like really fucking are like our leaders like really went on top of like fuck that. This is not getting out to the public. Well, I feel like if you look at a homeless person, like some of them motherfuckers already zombie like. Yeah. So they're not. They're not even human. No, I wouldn't say that. No, I would. I walk by them, buy them, and I go. No, some of those, some of those foods are uh, object. You know, you know, the foods are just like talking to each other and shit, and like just doing crazy shit. Yeah. Some homeless tried to square up with me the other day. Oh shit! (laughs) (laughs) They look like a bitch to them. No, I, was, I can uh, take them. I, I feel like that happens pretty often, though. Like some fool would try to press you, like a like a like me. A homeless, no, 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 no. Like wow. <laughs> yeah, he, he, everybody knows. Was he pressing you? Yeah, everybody presses. No, you, yeah, bro. he was pressing me. He he said like you. Like it wasn't like he was pressing like the fucking vending machine, and no. you were just in the way. And no, now he was. He literally too. came up to me, but. I want to go drop off Bree at work, and well, news flash: we don't have a fucking car right now. So what? where, you, where, where did you, she work? No, no. You <laughs> Go ahead. She works at eleven fifty nine. But um, so I dropped her off, and I was like, "Just keep the car. I'll, I'll run home. You know, a little ten miles, nothing big." Oh, you know that's right. I was like, I'll "I don't run- know my knees are." I'll, I'll run. I'll run <laughs> in jeans. <laughs> I was like, "I'll, I'll run running. home. Don't worry about it." And she's like, "Are you sure?" Yeah, I'll run home. Whatever. I start running, and this motherfucker's like talking to me, right? And I'm like, "This isn't like he's on fucking drugs or whatever." So I started ignoring him, and but I keep running, and he's like. Hey, like trying to get my attention and he was in the middle of the street by the way cars are fucking like going around him and shit like like he's in the middle oh, of the street he starts screaming bro. at me from the middle of the street and i was just like i, I was like i'm gonna just ignore this fool and that fool like it's like hey why aren't you looking at me you know type shit yeah and then he starts running after me and but then like someone almost ran them over so he got distracted mm. but it was like he was talking to me like he was like trying to like square up with me and shit you didn't have a headset on you don't, you don't, you yeah, I had my headphones in, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I can still hear him. I didn't have them on, like... Well, I had my AirPods. Trans- I had them on transparency. Transparency mode. Because that, that shit scares me. If, if I have them on... Um, what noise cancellation? Noise cancellation. I'm like, I can't hear cars. I can't hear anything that's around me. That shit's crazy. I don't even know how that shit works. It just literally blocks everything yeah. out. It's not... Yeah, so uh, I, was, I like to have them on transparency mode. And yeah, so I was able to hear him. And I was like trying to ignore him, but that fool was like... So that fool's on drugs. Bro. I would have knocked that fool out, bro, in the middle of the street, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Just kept on with my run. But yeah, he cars were literally like going around him and like honking at him because he was in the middle of the street. Yeah, those fools are nuts sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, to your point, Six I feel like there's zombies that already are out there. Yeah. 
I feel like I've seen a video of a zombie like on TikTok. Like for real, for real? Yeah, 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 yeah. Straight up from like China, I think. I, I, saw, I saw it really quick and then I just got deleted and I never thought about it again. It, it popped up, of course, like at fucking 4 or 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. Right before I'm falling asleep, it's like, oh, first case of like zombie. And they had like a video of like chasing through the subway, like, and, I, and then someone's like, this is this was a prank and stuff. And I was like, yeah. a little too real to be. Well, was, that's the thing know. too. It's like, I feel like there's also like a, because we become so good at like editing or like visual effects, like people doing makeup and shit, mm-hmm. that it just kind of like it could get a pass now, like where you wouldn't recognize it. Yeah. But I feel like there's been times probably where, where something like that's happened and the whatever, whoever's in charge of whatever country, wherever it happens, like Deleted. they take care of that shit quick. And, yeah. Like, yes. Yeah. That's so true. Like I was watching a video of someone that posted like, oh, I, they saw a UFO mm-hmm. and it's like technology so advanced right now. Like, no, you man, really don't know shit, yeah. bro. Like, is that shit edited? Is that shit real? And it's like, like shit looks real and it'll be edited. You know, yeah. like AI, you know, shit like that. And it's like, you literally, you never know now. Nah, I don't know if you guys saw it, but there's this new software that's out. I forget what the name. Gemini? Uh, is that what it's called? Chat GPT? I don't know. Are you no, it's like Google? No, it's, it's like <laughs> for like visual, like uh, oh. effects and shit, bro. Nah, bro. It's crazy. Like, like you just type into it, like it's still in beta, but you type into it, like, um, I followed their Instagram page, but you just be like, oh, space guy landing on the moon or some shit, bro. That shit looks fucking like, obviously you could tell. It's like a picture or is it like a video, video bro? Well, that's fucking wild. Video, dog. And like, that's how they're going to make movies. No, a hundred percent. It's already like that. Obviously they haven't got the audio, like, like it, it's able to create the visual part of it but it's not able to create like dialogue and shit like that yet yeah it will mm-hmm. you know like we're still in the beginning stages of it like just think about it like not even like what a year or two ago we were seeing like the that trend of like people uploading like just images of them on ai and shit like mm-hmm. their high school pictures or whatever the fuck like as a bad bitches <laughs> pretending I, I, don't, I don't know if you guys saw <laughs> yeah, you're right you think- I don't know if you guys saw you, you guys know <laughs> you're right, you're right. That? Yeah. you guys saw like uh that Bobby Althoff or what's her name? Althoff. Yeah, yeah. That uh, she had a video got leaked. <laughs> I can say her name, but I can't say Drew Fluffy W W. Fuck that hippo bitch. A video of her. <laughs> That's what I said. Make it a clip. Make it a clip. <laughs> a video yeah. of hers got leaked, and it was like a. It was like a porn video, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like it's, I heard it's, about that. And oh, it's like shit. people were like believing it, and I guess turned out to be AI. And it's like it's crazy, like AI is so good at like, yeah, making it look real now, like where you well, can't tell when it's real and when it's AI. I'm not sure if what you're talking about was like purely AI. I know that um, there for a while they were able to replace like faces on like already shit that was existing on the internet, but that's how I did it with Pam from the office. Oh shit! You did it. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Big before, tuna. Yeah. So before, the way it would work is a, uh, you'd have a bunch of images of said person, and um, doing like different faces, right? So AI would scan all those uh, videos or pictures or whatever, so and it was able to like grab, um, to match the reaction. Yeah, it would it would it would match that to whatever the porn star or whatever whatever video you're replacing, it would grab that to replace that other shit you know it's yeah. so like frame by frame yeah so it would look a little choppy and shit yeah. but the shit that i'm talking about bro it's like out of nothing yeah. they're just built it's just like a computer going like yeah. this is what you want all right based yeah. on like images and shit or movies on the internet like this is what i'm bro and it looks crazy dog. It, it's actually looks nuts i don't know if you guys seen too um like it's like aiden ross he posted a well he had a 21 savage on his stream 21 21 and uh, he showed him like, oh look, this is me rapping over your your song with Drake. It was the uh, twenty one. Can you do some for me, right? And he's like, oh look, I made a cover for it. And he plays him the whole song. And Aiden Ross has the N word in the song. And Twenty One Savage is like, well, bro, why are you saying that? Uh, and, and Aiden's just laughing, you know. He's like, nah, bro, why are you saying that? And Aiden's just got her, laugh, got... like cracking the fuck up. And then Twenty One goes, wait, this is AI? Like you didn't say that? He's like, nah, bro, I didn't say that. This is AI. Like they got my vo- AI got my voice. And made it like made a cover with my voice over this song. That shit is nuts, bro. Yeah. What's what's the end to this AI shit though? I don't like see. what happened. You never you never seen the movie. Honestly, nothing. I feel like it's really <laughs> not gonna change anything. <laughs> you never seen iRobot? It's not. If we're being for real, until it gets into a physical level, 
that's where it's going to change anything. But obviously, anything that's like so far, I guess. Oh, well, well you're asking the end goal, right? Oh, man. Like, they, 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 if they, if they figure What's good? when they figure out the audio, you can make the president say, shoot some, like, hey, pull up then, uh, Russia. I, I'm going to, I'm going to, or I'm going to shoot you first. Or I'm going to, I'm going to nuke you guys first. And yeah. if they don't do their fucking extensive research, they just start like you know swinging their dicks and like being upset. <laughs> Which is like they're known to do that Which shit. Just, they, they don't fucking put no fucking research into shit. They're just like, oh yeah. fuck you, then oh, what's up? And it's now it was like that wasn't even fucking real, you know. And, it be, and it's like, and then it, it all something almost is gonna happen. And it's just like until something does happen, I have a reaction. It's like all right, bro, we're gonna have to yeah. monitor this shit for real and not let people use it because it's getting kind of crazy. That's what's scary about it. It's like that shit, right? Where political leaders can, I don't know. Like, how how would you even verify it? Mm -hmm. You know, like they this shit's looking do. real, bro. This shit is looking real. They it's, somehow do, though. They probably look at the file and see maybe, maybe like if it's like an AI or something, maybe the file is a lot more like, I don't know how. To no, do. because it, AI will find a way to to mimic that too to mimic like that it, it, it's just no fucking way of like really unless because i know i know actually for i actually do know the answer to that like coding ai is um building yeah right like coding they're building yeah. um formats into the video so that they people are able to recognize when it's real or not mm -hmm. but like if it's somebody who has like malintention bro yeah they're gonna find a way around that shit i believe so, easy but... bro they just don't have yeah. to code it into it. They could just be like, this is real. This is just a regular MP4. Because you even just to, obviously, I don't want to put the image in your guys' head, but you can put like leader messing with the underage girl. Yeah. And motherfuckers, are, they're going to run with it. The internet's going to run with that, bro. Yeah. Like, or the opposite, bro. That shit's a real video and there's like, nah, it's AI. Exactly. That, exactly. That, well, that's kind of what, what Dreams was saying with the zombie shit, where it's like, and you were saying about the UFO. Or it's like, who knows what the fuck is real or what isn't anymore, you know? It's yeah. it's getting to that level. It's going to get better. Too weird. Well, shit. I mean, have you guys heard of Four Bats? That, that's the, the artist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like rumors that that guy is uh, AI. A plant too, right? That he's AI. That it's oh, not even is, real. Because like, no one's ever seen a picture of him. This was never done like any type of like meet and greet or anything like that. Granted, there are artists who try to keep that level of mystique where it's like nobody ever sees me. Like, for example, MF Doom or something like that. But like this guy just came out of nowhere with a fucking bop and then Drake features on it later on, like as a remix to the original, to one of the original songs. And it's like, yeah, this could be AI. And under everyone's nose, like no one really recognized it until... I don't know. I wouldn't even say anybody truly. There, there's no confirmation behind it, but there's only suspicion because of people talk about the sequencing of the song and mm. maybe how like, like in certain parts of the song, like it's a little too like exactly the same. Like even though it's supposed to be like a a verse or anything like that, so it's just uh, it's really blurred the line, honestly. And it's kind of a scary notion because it's like, what do <laughs> well, in a world where we try to escape through art? How are we gonna escape when art is um, technology with beastles? You know? That's facts. Yeah, it's That's facts. facts. And six dollar OnlyFans. <laughs> you're right, Beto. Now you're I right. Look this up, and it's like, you know, you know. That's funny because I was listening to the Nug right, Boys podcast, I got, I got, I got. and they were talking about the Illuminati, and just like how real is the Illuminati? Is it real or is it not real? And how they've gotten like. People, they've heard people say, oh, Nelk is for sure part of the Illuminati. And to them, that's like crazy. You know, it's like, yeah. And they were just saying, like, like some people get um, accused of being part of the Illuminati and they're like, dude, are you sh like, are you serious? Like, you think if that person was part of the Illuminati, don't you think they'd be bigger? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if true. they were really part of the Illuminati, they should be like bigger because it's like um, so much power, right? And I think it's a more nuanced conversation than that, honestly. Like, I feel like, oh, continue. Actually. No, go ahead. Nah, cut them off, bro. You go, go ahead. You're yeah, good. I feel like if there's, like, the nuance of, like, we can't make you look too much like you're a part of this if you're a part of this, you know? Shit. Like, I don't think that that's, like, a, yeah, a it's too far-fetched to be, like, all right, we're going to put you up, but we can't. We got to give you some flaws and shit like that because if mm -hmm. it looks it's gonna too, be too obvious, it'll be too obvious. And I don't believe that, honestly, like Illuminati, like, like copying a test. I don't but like there's they one copy me, but get these wrong. The yeah. ultra, the ultra group of what it is, is like, I feel like that's not what the Illuminati, I feel like it's a powerful group on its own because I believe it's real. 
but I feel like it's not everything, you know? There are other powerful groups that we just don't even fucking know about. Yeah. That's like, you have your thing, but we have ours, and just keep your shit out of our shit, and, and nobody has to worry about it, you know? And except because we, they probably deal with, like, more celebrities and that, and like, notor- notable, like, people that you see, like, faces, you know their face, that it becomes more of, like, oh, we know where that's from, but then all those other shits are in the shadows, yeah. you know? Yeah, and, and another good point they brought up was, uh, like, how do we also know that these celebrities aren't just being fucking smart as fuck and using, like, that trend of, like, Hiding Illuminati insight. and, like, like Lil Nas, right? He fucking came out with the video of him being the devil and Doja Cash, he fucking shaved her head and fucking did this shit. How do we know that's not just, like, their, marketed, their marketing tactic? Because they know, oh, yeah. shit, if we make it look like we're part of the Illuminati, then people are going to be like, oh, look, look, look at this video. Yeah. It. Yeah. And it's like, damn, like everything, like you never know what is real anymore, bro. Like nothing, like there's no, it's crazy out there. You know <clears> and I'm people saying? hide, and it's like possible to just hide it in plain sight. Like uh, we talk about all the time how we lean into a joke and, you know, and even if it bothers us, you know, we're going to lean into it because it shows, it kind of look gives the image like it doesn't bother us, you know, yeah, and yeah. there's that. So there's also that level of it too where it's like someone's gonna lean into it and they'll be like yeah yeah bro I'm part of the Illuminati and we're like oh, this was just joking around yeah but they, you know they could be you know but I mean th- those are conversations I think for uh, the wind down <laughs> <laughs> alright y'all we interrupt this episode to bring you our brand new sponsor Seat Geek and uh, yeah today's video it's sponsored by Seekick, like I, we all just fucking Let's said. Let's go. Seekick. Thank you, I'm Seekick. very excited about this partnership. Hell yeah. Too. With over 28 million downloads, Seekick is, no <laughs> <laughs> is the number one ticketing app. There are more than uh, 70,000 events every single day. No. Uh, Back. 70,000? Including concerts, sports, festivals, Back. and more. What? Uh, I, I just went to a game. Yeah, I literally just went to a game. Shout out to fucking Seekick. We use the code. P L P, and you got twenty dollars off our first That's order. That's a steal! It is a steal. <laughs> That's a steal! Uh, they fucking make it easy for you. They put all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you are getting a good deal. Each ticket, each ticket is rated on a scale of one to ten, one through ten. So, so look for the green dots. Yes, sir. Yeah. Green means good. Red means bad. Oh, uh, that's true. Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. That's fine. Guaranteed? Guaranteed. With swaps? Yep. And you know we came through for y'all. Use the code PLP for twenty dollars off the ticket. Twenty dollars. <laughs> that's twenty dollars off your uh, first purchase. First purchase with a uh, promo code PLP. SeatGeek. And uh, yeah, we want to yeah. thank you. We want to thank you, uh, Seat Geek. Thank much. you, Seat Geek. We're excited about this partnership, and thank you guys for sponsoring the episode. Yes, sir. Now let's get back to the episode, right? <laughs> to what you're saying, uh, uh, the celebrity that you don't know shit and all that. Uh, I, I thought of something else that I wanted to actually bring up was the whole like J Lo getting canceled shit. I don't know if you. Oh seen shit! It. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that shit? No, uh, but I saw one TikTok but about it. I, I, I just know about all the people shitting on J Lo, yeah. and it, they always bring up the moments like about her, like a fake, the fake moments. Like I don't know if you ever saw the video of like where J Lo, she's like in her old neighborhood and she's walking around, and she's like getting interviewed, you know, and like she's like, yeah, like this is my old neighborhood, and she goes to to this house, right, and she's like, I used to live in that house, and then there's some guy who walks out, and he's like on his porch, and he was, and she was like, hey, and he was like, what's up, and he was like. I used to live here. He's like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and she just keeps walking. That's and right. it was like, she was just trying to show like how humble she was. And in, in a sense, she got humbled from that. Like, Yo, right. you, I don't give a fuck about that, bro. Like, yeah. Get the fuck away from my house. It, it's pretty interesting. Cause like, but what a lot of people are saying is like, she's just one of them. Like, she's like, it's so many times that she's come out and, um, I'm still trying to smash them. It, it doesn't look the, it, She's just like, all right, bro, like, yeah, get you haven't lived in the Bronx. If well, you say you come from the Bronx or wherever you fucking come from, you haven't lived there in 30 years. Get the fuck over. You're rich now. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Be rich. Stop trying to the, don't glorify the hood because nobody nobody from the hood glorifies it like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if they if they can get out, they're leaving. Yeah. They don't glorify like that. Wait, that that came from just that video? Is that well, what? Uh, no, many, no, no, many, many, many across a lot of videos. No, it, oh. it's, it's like a big ass thing where people are saying she's not even talented. It's the, the summarization of how they feel her yeah. career went. 
it, but there's like a compilation of videos of just it, they're highlighting it, moments. It's just it's just like tic, it's just people on TikTok like oh uh, they're just coming out like oh J Lo's this J Lo's that and it's like everybody brings like a different point to the table. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's yeah. like a, from, from many moments of her life, yeah. like she came down to the. I, I think I don't know if it's recent, but she said like they asked her what's her order from like the bodegas, and she said some. She said something so like, like Swiss and cheese or something. Like, like, something I mean, Swiss like and chopped so, cheese, yeah, chopped cheese. Chop cheese and an orange soda. If you know, you know. And like the people were coming out, like, bro, like no one gets that shit. What? <laughs> like, okay, yeah. but like what? And that was just one. And then like, and so like it became a thing where it's like, all right, it's just all. Sh-. And then people talk about how bad she is. I don't know. I don't know if her. If she, it was a behind the scenes thing for yeah. a movie that she was making, like where she was calling people, like her team mm-hmm. was calling people for her new movie. Mm. You know, like, hey, we. we and Jayla wants oh, you to be, and yeah. she's like, "No, nah, no, nah, we can't." And then, like, there's a part in that in that thing where it's like, she's all like, that her assistant, she's like, he can't make it because he he said he's in a wedding, and he like, she's like, uh, and she's all upset. You could clear, see the clear see she's upset. Mm-hmm. She's like, and it's not like he's gonna leave. Like you, like the, the assistant's telling her, like, it, he can't bail this. It's his wedding. Like, it's a wedding. He's at. Yeah. And then she's all like, "We'll call him," and it's just like. Bitch, what are you stupid? Like, are you not hearing the conversation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, this was not gonna just drop shit because J Lo wants me in the movie in 2024. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, would you what? What, has, what have you done significantly after Selena? Like, that makes me want to cancel my wedding and go to your shit. It's his wedding though. Uh, it's what that's what the assistant's telling okay, him. Like, okay. he's in the wedding. Like, he can't just leave this wedding. He's like the best man, probably. Probably. Yeah, yeah. And like, she's just and then she just has like a snot face and she doesn't have no makeup on. She's like, call him. Like, <laughs> what the? Yeah. Oh, J Lo's calling. Oh, dropped. I have to go. <laughs> Babe, I have to go. Like, no, bitch. Like, that's not how that worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, yeah. so she glorifies, like, the Bronx, right? And she's like, it's like 20 years. You haven't lived there in, like, 20 years since Selena, right? Yeah. And that's what people are telling her, like, bro, it's okay to be rich. Just be rich and stop stop doing that. And so, but, well, my point was going to be towards, like, celebrity things. Like, a lot of people are saying, like, I hope this starts, like, the realization, like, these celebrities are, like, they're they're just... They're, a lot of them are fake. They're just celebrities. Yeah. Because, you know, like a lot of interviews, like people don't even let celebrities do interviews. Like, no, because if they actually know the real, the real, real you, not the people who came up through fucking social media where they had they grew a fan base and they talked to you one-on-one up until the stardom. Yeah. Then you kind of know what they actually went through, how they were living before they got rich, and you know they came from. Yeah. Excuse me, from shit, right? And then they're saying like a lot of celebrities, that's just J-Lo. A lot of celebrities rode a wave off of like something else that wasn't even like that's yeah. not even them so like i hope that this one just starts the conversation to see like the people that you glorify and how much assholes they are how much they don't give a fuck about any of the yeah. people that are back them 100 percent. like this is just like the beginning like and that's like what you were saying i know i know what you mean stuff. though i get what you're saying like it's it's uh it's it's like the fucking the ellen shit during COVID. remember that video or whatever or all the celebrities that got together yeah. they were just like it was funnier the lies though. Yeah. Well, what was the video? It was just like we understand, like I don't know. She's being a bitch, basically. No, no, no. But she was just like saying she was complaining, right? Or something like that. I can't. I'm not about and then people were just thing. like, Oh, you're complaining from your fucking million dollar home. But it's like you're allowed to complain. But it's when you're trying to relate. Pretty much here's what here's what that is. It's you there's a market when you're relatable. Yeah. Does that make sense? When people relate to you, they like you and they'll buy your shit, they'll watch your shit, they'll do anything for you. Like the wind down. They'll just. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good. Hey, keep doing that. Keep doing that. I'm a, hey, my, you, hey what, do I get commission? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah, yeah. sorry. What do you mean? So, you're sorry to interrupt you. I feel like I'm new here. What What is the wind down? Oh, that's true. Well, if you're not familiar. Patreon.com slash probably Ponte Las Pilas. Bro, that sounded like Pilar someone Pilar. put like something you already had said in a different podcast and it's put AI, it right there. It's AI, it's AI. That just sounded like so some AI we're, shit, we're huh? Using it, using what the fuck Alan Iverson do? That's crazy. <laughs> Why yeah, but, the, but like there's a market in being relatable, right? So these celebrities know that shit. Like once you're detached from reality and you're just rich and shit and you're fucking living on your living in a million dollar house in the hills, millions of dollars, you're chilling in yachts, you're fucking chilling with the biggest celebrities in the world, you lose touch of reality. Like, mm-hmm. that's not the real world. Yeah. You know, yeah. you don't know what the average person is going through like day to day. But that's okay working. Though, too. It's okay, but the thing is, people are uh, upset because... Because they're not they, rich. They, they, re- bands up. they rec- she's trying so hard to... to they remake. recognize their what they're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's exactly. like, oh, I know what it's like to be... <laughs> When I grew up in the slums, it's yeah. like, I, it's like, bro, but, but, mm-hmm. but when, I, it, when it doesn't translate naturally, like you, 
I feel like you can tell p- with people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Eugenio Derbez type shit. Like mm-hmm. that fool, even in his movies, he'll try to like, It it's, he knows what it's like. You know, like mm-hmm. he probably has family members and shit and he's like, he's rich as shit. Mm-hmm. And he doesn't like detour from that. But in his movies, he does try to like convey that message of, of what it's really like. He's the voice of our people, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And sometimes when some celebrities try to do it, it just doesn't translate well. They don't do it well enough. And people are like, yeah. they're smart to recognize yeah, it's very that, surf- yeah. surface level. Yeah, and I'm, yeah, and I'm, yeah. And I'm referring to it's okay like to make it. That, it I'm, it's I'm, okay to be rich. It's okay to yeah. be rich. Like, there's, you have people who are rich to understand what you're talking about. And it may not be the majority, but it's fine, you know? And, like, you, you, you should glorify that to make people want to work harder. Yeah. Because you you glorify in the hood and say, oh, this is where I'm from because you understand, like, the market, like you're saying. Like, people from the hood want to get the fuck out. You yeah. should glorify how great it is to get the fuck out. Obviously, understanding your roots, but not banking on them. I wonder if that's just a getting old type that's of true. thing, though, too. You know? Like, is that maybe just a part of just getting old is having, like, a... Her? Like, her, on her end? Not just... Well, on, on anybody that gets... Like... All of us, when eventually when we get old, we'll be like, we know what that's like. And we may have an idea, but we don't truly know how it feels anymore. It also might be like, a, it, let's give her the benefit of the doubt. Let's say she's not trying to like benefit from, from relating to people, right? Let's just say it's like regular, just human nature to do that. Mm-hmm. Like you ever, it's like the joke, right? It's like, you ever talk to an Asian person? You're like, oh, I know an Asian person. Yeah. Like, do you know them? It's like, no, <laughs> how the fuck would they know? You know, yeah. it's just like, you're just trying to relate at a human level. Like Maybe she's just trying press. to do that shit and it's just not coming across well. She's like to the fucking commenters point. It's like, don't do that shit. Or a lot of saying like, you don't have to do that no more. Just be who you are and it is what it is you know well that's why i ask if it's like just a getting older thing because we hear it also like when we call when we talk about the generation wars and we talk about the boomers versus the millennials versus the gen z and we talk about every generation seems to be like like no 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 you i know what it's like yeah i know what it's like just get another job you're not working hard enough in that sense i'm not saying whatever they're saying is right or wrong Shout out Kim K. She was right. but having like the idea that whatever you were in it's almost like self-absorbed like whatever era or idea or time that you lived in is basically the manifestation of what's happening happening around you and i don't believe that's always like which i mean it shows it's not always true but we still try in that way like i don't know i just maybe it just feels like j-lo's getting older to me that's all it feels like. No, she's definitely yeah. getting older. Like, we're all just getting old, and that's what happens when you get older. You, you think you... shit like that. Like, remember when you're, you're, you're fucking Theos or, or anything like that, and they're like, nah, it's fucking... No, maybe not you guys, but... Nah, bro, it's fucking dangerous. You can't even go to the store or nothing like that. But like, bro, motherfucker, I just walked to State of Brothers right now. Like, what are we doing? Like, your, your shit, whatever you got involved with, as much as you're trying to relate to me as a youngin, is not the same shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, a gram of weed is not this much anymore. You get yeah. what I'm saying? That at small scale levels, but people are still trying to do it. I feel like if it's consistent, though, if you've done it throughout your whole career, because I also like, I saw a lot, bro. A lot of, like, I'm telling you, once you watch one video, like TikTok, yeah. they feed that shit the algorithm. Buy it, America. But <laughs> uh, they fucking, like, there's a lot of stories, bro, where she's just, she's just a bitch. Like, apparently, she don't give to, like, the, her schools, like, her, 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 her schools have asked her for help for like education. Oh, some and Scott's Todd's and, 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 <laughs> and she said no. Apparently, uh, there's another one where she, I'm no one to speak on she, anybody's she, character because I don't know her. Exactly. Well, yeah. I'm not speaking on. It. I'm just saying what people say on the internet, and I'm just saying yeah. it out to people. Yeah, yeah. You know, but uh, she's a bitch. People said people said like she ran out of the theater for herself, and then she didn't want to be seen by anybody. Mm. That's right. And like they That's made some shit I would do if I was rich though. Like, she's put, she said I'm not coming into the front. I'm coming into the back. You guys yeah. gotta clean the dumpsters around the back because I don't want to see. You trash Fuck. it's a lot of shit against her bro but it's just like yeah she could it, be a total bitch and if you were con- but if yeah. but if you were consistent bro She's like the woman of like giving back to the hood and stuff <laughs> i feel like it'd be fine because like you've you've done it consistently 30 yeah. years in your whole life growing all the yeah. way up like yeah she's been doing that though like it's not nothing new but if you if you get old like that and then you have the realization like realization like damn i haven't done shit for my hood yeah in like she's, 30 she, years she's basically preaching shit she's not doing like she's She's yeah. over here. She's over How's here. How's like, that yeah. any different from like the hood deal that you might have? 
And them motherfuckers like, nah, bro, I put nah, in work. He shot, nah, but nah, but, but he shot another block for and the they don't though. do and they don't but, do but, shit now though. But but that's like if oh, I yeah. that's like if I moved out of my parents' house and like let's say I grew up where it was ghetto and they're still there, and I'm just telling the homies, dude, I, you know where I'm from, dog. You know streets you know, kill me. You you don't know where. <laughs> <laughs> that's basically all this is if you, you left your mom to the hood me yeah i'm like you don't know where i'm from like dog I'm from, I'm from the hood bro like back then fucking my mom couldn't even fucking feed me shit like all she had was beans and then i go to my parents house and my mom makes beans i'm like mom you can't make other shit what the fuck you know like <laughs> yeah you're switching like, up yeah Showing it's, your like, true it's like I'm, I'm, I'm saying this shit to my homies yeah. but then i go home and to the hood and then i fucking do the opposite you know Stick what i'm saying to my stomach but family. in a way this relates to even the ai shit we we're talking about earlier it's like nothing's real there yeah like how do you fuck do you know because you can make a case for somebody's a piece of shit for everyone bro probably not for like except not for me. me except for dreams dreams you can you can only make a good case for <laughs> Dude, there's yeah. so much shit about you <laughs> and, and to bring it all the way around up yeah. to the beginning topic where beto yeah. said he was running wind down no 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 zombies are real running and he's how homeless man do you ever fucking sit around and think like for just a little bit like what if i'm just a homeless man going crazy in the, in the under a fucking bridge right now yes. and, I, and yes. I think that i'm having this I've conversation thought that. that's i've way, thought that multiple that's times crazy, bro. That's i've thought crazy. that i've thought what if nothing around me is fucking real what if i'm fucking sticking my finger in, what if i'm sticking my finger in my ass under a bridge right now people are walking by thinking i'm crazy but i think like this whole life that i'm making in that corner and going crazy also, if i'm sticking my finger in my ass like under a bridge then so <laughs> and also what if jesus girl's only fans is six fucking dollars bro it wouldn't be because she's fucking beautiful and she's <laughs> worth, That's worth right. at least eight they don't like that bro the listeners don't like that shit nah yeah. yo hey, fuck that bitch yeah, yeah, facts, there, facts, you go. Facts, there you go you got it yeah i hope i look i hope she's nice like i hope she's a nice person i hope that she's still jenny from the oh, ball wait, yeah 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 and also yeah yeah i hope go ahead I, i'll finish it up yeah I like i hope she is a good person and people are just making a fucking bad case for her on the internet mm -hmm. like you can't believe everything you see on the internet but if there's enough evidence to back it up, usually, like, look at Ellen. So many people came out where were like, that bitch is a fucking... And she didn't even come out to dispute it, by the way. She was just like, yup. <laughs> but never that, came. She that, her show got canceled. She didn't give a fuck, bro. She's just like, I made my money. I'm still be a bitch. Fuck y'all. Look, I any, respect that low key. Any celebrity, I don't know. You want to wrap this up, but any celebrity, bro. Let me just give you advice. Just turn yourself into a fucking meme and roll with it. That's the only way you're gonna get out of whatever. Just, just join because the fucking Illuminati. Exactly bro. to your point. <laughs> when they talked about Ellen, bro. Yeah. And then she started like she like how you said she just accepted it. What happened? Now? Everyone just turned that shit into a meme, and they were like, "Yeah, I walked by Ellen one time, and she gave me a cigarette burn." Fuck! It became a meme, and then it's like, or what, whatever. We then just rolled the punches. Serious, the fuck. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's at the end of the day, like a beast right now. Also, you you have to understand, like, if you live, you reach a certain level of fa uh, fame, like us, like PLP on the wind down. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Patreon.com slash whatever it is. Premiering at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. Is it? No, I don't know. Nah, but I get that shit where just like celebrities are trying to like, per like pretend to still fucking be just like us. But it's like, you're not, bro. Yeah. Low key, that's why I kind of fuck with uh, just, Tom. Tom Segura. Like, he made that shit into a joke. Segura. That fool was literally broke. Well, he wasn't broke growing up. Like, he was a middle class family. Mm -hmm. But when he was pursuing his dream in L.A., that fool was like, oh, yeah, I was like a hot pocket, fucking hot and ready type of motherfucker, you know, a uh, couple noodles because I was struggling trying to make it as a comedian the in L.A. Works. Yeah. <laughs> so that fool was like struggling. And shit. He was broke as shit. And him, him and his lady talk about it a lot where, uh, yeah, they were both struggling at that time. But like now they're fucking, they made it, bro. And they're rich as fuck. And those fools don't give a fuck. They'll just be like, yeah, we're, yeah, we're rich, bro. Yeah. And I fuck with that shit. It's like, and that's exactly how they say it too. <laughs> yeah, they don't give a fuck. They'll be like, fuck. And, they, and also they'll be like, fuck you, poor motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, yeah. fun, it's funny, bro. It's yeah. just like, yeah. yeah, you guys made it, bro. I, I don't, you don't need a fucking, like, talk about what the fuck you guys are doing nowadays. They're doing dope ass shit. Wait, y'all can't buy y'all selling arenas. Y'all can't buy your way into a sold out place. Just, just like the Paul brothers. Yeah, exactly. Bro. Just like, just like the Paul brothers. Bro. Oh they no, that's different, huh? They, those, they, those, those they grew, grew up, up hard, bro. Oh, yeah, they, they be, they be saying that shit like, oh, yeah, we grew up in Ohio, yeah. and low key they grew up like fine. They, they grew, <laughs> they had a two story <laughs> home. <laughs> but they were Ooh, only two. Dude, my dad's the reason. I hate they, it. they always get three stories. They call they it a trilogy. They always talk about their struggle, brother. But like, isn't that the isn't that the joke that like rappers do that shit too some fools will be like we came from nothing and their fucking home was like and that's what they said about scissor no that, that's what they that's that's what, said about me that's what they I'm said sorry. about that's what about that's what they said about clarence no 
Clarence. Clarence? Clarence? Yeah. A- 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 I got the name of Clarence. Oh, you just watched that movie. Huh? I, I said it like I said it like Eminem. I, and Clarence's parents have a real Clarence. good marriage. His real name is Clarence. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. That's an awfully hot coffee <laughs> pot. Shut up. Apples and apples. Probably and, not. <laughs> and look, in this humor right here, there's more of that on uh, no. the wind down. Maybe. Yeah. Let's wind it up. Wind it up. Yeah. I wanted to ask you guys some final thoughts on this for me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did you and to about? wrap it up, Jello, whenever you want to come defend yourself, pull up the podcast. That's Go facts. Go ahead. You're still right. Jenny from the pod. Hey, but if Jello pull up, I'll be like this. Yeah, look yeah. at that fat ass. Yeah, that's crazy, J Lo. If J Lo pull up, I would how much at the bodega? That's crazy. I would only. I would What's your only, order? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no I, way. I, I if you know, only, you know. I bet. Huh? But she's right here. That's. The I would only. Ask, <laughs> yeah. I, I would only. I would only ask her questions about uh, Selena, portraying Selena. I don't even want to talk to J Lo. I just want to see, talk to J Lo's ass. Wait, she's the one who. She's the one who plays Selena. Selena, bro, she could be a bitch. I don't give a fuck, bro. That movie's a banger. The how did movie she get, is she's acting. Look, I feel like celebrities can be wherever the fuck they want, bro. I'm going to say right. it. That's facts. Yeah, you know, Le- Kelly, right? Yeah, Le- Leo DiCaprio. Okay, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right, Gazelle. You know what you said, Gazelle? Yes, sure. Yeah, you're right, yeah, you're right, bro. Leo DiCaprio could date women that are fucking 25 years Bad, younger than him. Hey. Beto. He could, though. He's him, He bro. could. He's he cute. Could. Wait, uh, is he still cute? No. Okay, drop it in the comments below. Is Leo DiCaprio still cute? And also, he has banger-ass movies, bro. No, but he doesn't need to be anymore. Wait, he the, finally got his Oscar. Once oh, you're that's rich, what, that's what I was no, about to ask. He finally got his Oscar. Put in the comments. Oscar award winning. Is he still cute? No, he's not. He's fucking. No, for, well, we'll let the comments decide for, that. For, well, I'm gonna comment. For sure, the Oscars were just trolling at some point, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, they're like at some point they're like, let's not give him. That an award. was a great actor, bro. Let's keep it a stack. That's what I'm saying. They're for sure trolling at some point where it's like he was making banger after banger after banger. Yeah, but guess what happened? Motherfuckers like me who don't care for that, I was like. Is, is Leo going to win one now, yeah. finally? I was tuning in to check. That's, and, and that's what I'm saying. And yeah, he was they, on his they, mess, they, they his the World yeah. Cup type vibes, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 he yeah. Was. Oh, that's crazy that you're talking yeah. about that, actually. Because that goes into like the next hour I was thinking about. All right, final thoughts on Leo. <laughs> <laughs> is that it, it, it came across my timeline, and I just like, I don't really know too much about this. Timeline. Shit, but I feel like you guys do. So, And I think it's interesting. Yeah, I'll suck it. I wanted to know... 30K. Okay. Well, that answers my question. Imagine. <laughs> no, I wanted to know what you guys think about um, Edson, Edson Alvarez. Bro. Thinking that he's... Don't even, okay. don't even get me started, bro. People saying that... Uh, hey, one more shot for Beto. And then don't we, even let me get... We'll, we'll, we'll let him rock for like an hour. I can't even... Actually, I'm going to try to explain it and you guys tell me if I'm right. Okay, go ahead. But basically with their... Um, there was an interview that came out about him. A little potty waddy. And uh, it was a pot. Yeah, I think you're right. It was a pot. And it was uh, basically talking... He was talking about basically his gripe with the... What was it? The U.S. Uh, with the Mexican national Ta-ta, team, right? Ta-ta with Tata Martino, yeah. Yeah, oh, and so he was it. talking about like, oh, like I wasn't getting game. I wasn't talking about. He was like, I wasn't getting any game time, and basically he didn't like how things were. No, he was. He was getting game time. Okay, see, so I don't, I don't speak beaner, but uh, basically that uh, everyone people came to the conclusion basically that he sold against the Argentina, Argentina. national team yeah. that he played. I want to know what you actually. If you could explain, yeah, I'll explain it better, it, I'll explain it better. So basically, yeah, well, you yeah, didn't yeah. have to say better though. No, I'll, no, I'll explain it so I'll much better. Said it. So Here, much I'll, better. I'll, I'll, I'll give be- way better details so you can understand profoundly. Well, you saw the pod? No, I saw clips. <laughs> this that- guy, there's a new generation. <laughs> bro, I, I watched the pod. <laughs> the I watched generation. the pod. You, you think Dreams watched that fucking pod? I watched pod, the bro? pod. <laughs> All right, so basically, it just came across my time. No, I thought it was interesting. Basically, what happened was that uh, they interviewed Anton Alvarez. And if you don't know who Edson Alvarez is, he's our he's the best player in Mexico ah, right okay. now. Good job, really? good job. Good job. Right. Explain it to the audience who doesn't listen, who Ed, doesn't know. Edson Alvarez is the best Mexican player right now, like straight up, like straight up. He's the best Mexican. For real, for real. Joking been, or no? No, 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 no he's joking. The, he's he probably the, is. Probably, yeah, the best anime field for sure. Okay. hundred. No, but also, I think I think he's the best player, bro. Speaking speaking of how Mexico's playing right now, let's be let's keep it a stack. That's what I'm saying. It is. He it's not a high player. bar. He's playing at a. At There's a, not a high bar, but he's, he's, he's playing great. He's, he's playing starting great. at a Premier League. He's playing in the best league in the world. Not for, a, yeah, it is. For, it, it is for, a mid ta- for a mid-table team, for a team that's like in in the yeah. middle, it's the best oh. thing in the world. He's playing for a mid-table and he's starting. And he's, like Crystal Palace, and, and, and that honestly, he's one of their best players. Oh, okay. 100%, 100%. Yeah. they love him there. Fans. Yeah. Okay. So they interviewed him about the World Cup. And we're gonna talk more about it on the wind down. So make sure you guys go. <laughs> okay, that would be awesome. That'd be fire. That'd be fire, bro. Yeah. yeah. So basically, they interviewed him. They just asked him a couple questions about the World Cup, and he was just saying like, 
yeah, like, I just don't understand, you know, me and me and Tata Martino, the coach from Mexico at the time during the World Cup, we were super close. We would always talk about soccer. He'd, he would literally call me and we would have hours, conversations for hours on the phone just talking about soccer. Mm-hmm. And he would ask me, what do I think? And I would ask him, what does he think? And we just have conversations. Like You haven't seen this, Gazelle? No, I haven't seen it. He's okay. like, for, for hours. And even like when I'd go practice with him, he's just like, we just chop it up for hours. Just always talking about soccer. Always, always, always. He, he kind of insinuated, because he, he, he said that everybody, he, he, he insinuated like, I didn't have a for sure spot because I can never say that. But yeah, who, I had a for sure By the way, who, who was playing... DM at the time. No one. We didn't play with a DM. We we played a, a we five. We were playing like a five, five three one. Back, huh? You played yeah. a five three one. Yeah. For what? For with with like three box to box ass motherfuckers, huh? It was like Herrera, yeah. Guardado, and who? It's fucking and Chavez. the same it's midfield has been for Chavez. fucking twenty years. Oh, let's be real, though. Chavez. Is, yeah, but kids but got talent. Kids got talent. Yeah, but, but you got Guardado and Herrera. Get the motherfuckers. But yeah, motherfuckers. But we need old. we need some defense, some defensive shit. And on it, like like we said, Edson Alvarez is the regardless. Whatever, right? So he's like so. I was starting every single game. I was playing every single game leading up to the World Cup, at the World Cup, and then it came up against Argentina. That game we watched together, by the way. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, here. Oh, I was there, I think. Yeah, mm. even Johnny was there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like this. He was asleep, but yeah. he was there. Yeah. Definitely there. And he's like, and out of nowhere, he just benches me. And he's like, and I didn't play a single minute. Mm-hmm. He ain't talked to him either. He didn't talk yeah. shit. Like, oh, you, you don't sit this one out, bro. You just, I'm going to do this. And yeah. so, and then, um, so basically, like, you know, he's just kind of like saying, like, I don't know what happened there. He, like, basically insinuating, like, you know, like, there's something going on right there. That motherfucker would have defended Messi. Wait, but like, on some beef? Like, beef? No, no, no. Just telling you, like, I didn't, because the guy asked the question so he can lean into that more. He's like, and what did you, did you play the game? He's like, I didn't play it at all. And then the, the guy told him, like, he's like, I'm not going to say anything, but like, I didn't play the game at all, but I w- leading up to it, I was playing every game. And then the guy's like, "Well, I'm not gonna say it. You don't have to say it." And what? Uh, what, what not, not not only that, but bro. also, I mean, I, I I haven't watched the the interview, but I know that going into that game, Tata's plan was to be more defensive against Argentina. And Let's what is that? Real. Okay, what? and what is that? Son Alvarez CDM. You CDM. That's true. But like he doesn't have the the he didn't have the seniority that the other foods have, you know. Oh, he over Chavez for okay, sure. Okay, well before we get lost into that, I want to just say this real quick: is that uh, while I was watching it, uh, there was obviously a stitch to it, and they were like, what they were pointing out later was while he was okay, talking, while they were, were they talking, this, to say that he was nervous about how like basically how he'd be perceived. Like he was just like. Very uncomfortable oh, yeah. how oh, yeah. he was I talking. Saw, I saw that too. So yeah, I, thought, so. I thought you guys were going more towards like the conspiracy of like Messi winning the World Cup. No, it was just more th- mm-hmm. like th- th- the coach himself. But you, you, he's right. So someone did stitch that video and was like, look, he's so uncomfortable talking about this, but he's still talking about it. And it's like his body language. He's like, ah, should I talk about this? He was kind of scared to talk about it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. And then not only that, but later on, uh, Chucky Lozano, which is our I would say the most talented player we have uh, right now, yeah. Not, Mex- not producing Mexico. shit with it, but yes, he is our most talented. <laughs> yes, that's like <laughs> that's the, the reality. We should start a soccer podcast, by the way. But I'm down on the wind down. <laughs> yeah, on the wind down. Patreon.com slash wind down. We could call it kicks and giggles. But he he chooses <laughs> <laughs> on it for no reason. <laughs> Yeah, just saying bullshit. Yeah, yeah, but Zlata wouldn't have Yo, done that. What the Clint, Clint Dempsey's the best fucking player of our generation. If we're being honest, if Jesus on our soccer podcast, he's just saying bullshit. That should be funny. Yeah. Juan Mata's the best, fo- best Rapino, fucking midfielder Rapino's ever. Seen. The best thing to happen to football. Oh shit, sorry, bro. Hmm? Oh, go ahead. Yeah. So then uh, later on, I don't know if this was a podcast. It was a podcast actually. They also what? sat down Chucky Lozano on a podcast, bro. And same shit, bro. Just started opening up about Tata Martino. So they were just complaining about Tata. Yeah. That's crazy. I emailed both those foods. They never replied back to us. But go ahead. Complaining or consp- beer conspiring? About he, he was just saying same shit as Edson Alvarez. He was just saying like, I don't know. I just find it weird how this and this and this. Like he's not saying like any con- anything concrete. He's just saying like, I just find it weird how this happened. Also, this shout out Concrete. He's going to be on our wind down episode. Next <laughs> and then, week. But then also, yeah. it, like a lot of it has to do with like where Tata Martino ended up. And we're messing it up. Uh huh. They're both in Inter Miami. He's coaching him. So you think that that wait, that's, what, that's okay? What, but what's that's, the conspiracy? That's, that's what gets insinuated, though. Yeah. So what do you think? That's what? It, what? It, sell, what it, sell, sell the game. Sell the game against Argentina. Then it's got out of the group stage. 
Why though? Do you not do the world? Do you know who won the World Cup? Do you remember who won the World Cup? No, yeah. Well, Messi could have. Well, not Messi, I like but this. I like Ar- this a lot. Ar- Argentina could have won the no. World Cup. Man, at, fuck at the that, big three. At, it's just at, big at, at, at that at time, that, 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 that game they needed to win it. Yeah, exactly. But why not win the first fucking game that they lost? That was a big surprise. If, to if, if, if that's that was, what I'm saying though, like if, if this whole thing is a whole conspiracy of like Argentina ultimately winning it. No, no, that's not like, the, that's not the conspiracy. The conspiracy, the conspiracy is, is that, that Mexico sold. sold. Yeah, that, or that's not because he's yeah. Argentinian. Yeah. For the Tuesday and Thursday story, I don't know if you guys are familiar, but we that's where we go and I put a prompt up on the story on Instagram and we have you guys communicate about you know stuff you want to ask us or sometimes there, there's a prompt that we want to ask you uh, we're going to start with these questions that they've asked us actually and this one comes from a um, person I can't name and they ask how can I clap my girl's cheeks with a house full of family members Damn. six members <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not going to cuss now we're back to question. normal yeah. Damn, that, that, that one hits a soft spot right here you know what I think we're going to answer that well, on the wind, on the wind down. down. Let's go, boys. Patreon.com slash wind down. <laughs> <laughs> you already came up with the fucking Look, the website we've, name. We've all been in that situation where you need a pipe and she need to pipe the fuck down. Facts. Spitting? Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, now you guys just got to keep it quiet. You know, I, I, I recommend stay away from the ones that can, can give you like Oh. <laughs> like doggy style was too much motion, right? You you have there's too much <laughs> torque <laughs> and motion, right? It's <laughs> not, there's a risk of clap, <laughs> and if she got a fat ass, <laughs> it'll be like, you know what I'm saying? And it's harder to resist the urge from doing the clap. Even if she got a particle board ass, bro, so you're still gonna make sound. I recommend the chill positions, maybe a little sideways, sideways lazy. What do you call that? Yeah, that's perfect. Sideways lazy. It explains it. Where it's like you can't get enough torque because like. You're, you're laying down. You're laying down, right? So you can't really pump too crazy. No matter. And, and, doing and all the work. You, and you get less tired. Yeah. Now, here's the question right here. Do you have a lock on your room? Because some people just be rocking with no locks, which is fucking nuts. Delinquent, bro. I can't even close our door all the way. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> say, it, it makes it more kinky, though. You That's know? true. That is true. It, gets, it makes it a little risky. Honestly, you got to clap loud as fuck. No. You got to let everybody know you're clapping. <laughs> Because who's going to walk in on someone that knows that someone's clapping, bro? And, le- and let's be honest, who isn't clapping cheeks, bro? That's true. That's a good point, man. Your parents clap cheeks. That's how you're here. What the fuck, dude? Uh, I don't want to hear about that, bro. <laughs> but it happened. And you're here now. Then six months later, baby gazelle pops out. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wild ass noise. That's right how I came out. Sheep. I came out like that. <laughs> I don't know. The way I see it, I've always been like, you're going to hear this shit. I don't give a fuck. Because... No. Yeah, everyone, bro. Everyone doesn't anyways, bro. Who yeah, fucking bro. cares, bro? Just fucking get your nuts. And, and, and then you look at and you look at her parents and you're like, I disrespect yeah. your daughter in there. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> dream. <laughs> you fucking stupid. Everyone knows, bro. <laughs> everyone knows you guys are fucking anyways. That's oh, true. I'm holding hands in there. Well, okay, yeah. I think the best way to approach <laughs> We're holding hands and kissing. <laughs> Is it? I, wait, 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 wait. I, th- I think it depends, actually. No, the best if, oh, if yeah, you're, age. If you're visiting your girlfriend and you're clapping cheeks, that's disrespectful. Like, you're, if you're making their family here, you know, that's disrespectful. That's mad disrespectful. You don't want to hear, but you don't you want li- your girl to hear that but, you're clapping cheeks. But if you live there already, it's like, you know, they're like, they know, they're like, oh, they're eventually going to do yeah, it. Yeah, but you should still have the respect and be like, not make it a fucking Dolby Atmos fucking experience. <laughs> Dolby? <laughs> that's funny. I appreciate you. I got you. IMAX and shit. No, you went there. Oh, THX. Audio. There you go. There you go, THX. So I recommend this. Wait till they go to the. Wait till they go to Costco and just fucking clap away. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, if you go to they go to Costco, they're gonna be half the day. <laughs> yeah, bro, that line. Fuck yeah. and then they get hey, some pizza. Yeah, Fuck exactly. Another <laughs> fucking four hours. What are you not gonna get the fucking? What do they call it? The, the chicken bake. The chicken bake. Yeah. Come on, bro. Boom. I got a chicken bake while I was waiting for our pizza to. Come. <laughs> <laughs> and I bought some dish show. Shout out George. Yeah, so either yeah. wait wait till they leave or do the positions that are like they they make less noise. Those are, that's just my fucking What if they never noise. leave? What are they what are they fucking But six members, rating? there's probably people like rotating in and out. So if maybe not, there's only two people in the house, but they're there all at all times there's always two people in just, the house. Then clap just, cheeks in the, in the car, bro. Just church, just turn on the TV and fuck on the floor if you have carpet. 
I don't fucking. Or if you don't have a carpet laid down, fucking blanket, fucking no a towel. <laughs> it's always a picnic at our house. <laughs> <laughs> just be like, we're gonna go get a burger bro. and just fucking yeah. clap her burger, bro. Mm. Explaining it like a burger. Clapping her buns, huh? Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right. This next uh, next question comes from Steffi underscore ninety six. Nice, she asks, "Do y'all ever plan on leaving the IE?" Never. This is my I, hometown, bro. Why do you want me to leave, bro? Like, I know everything around here. I know everybody around here. Why do you want me to leave, dude? Like, if I do, I'm gonna move to like Wyoming or something. If if my girl breaks up with me, then I still got these hoes right here that I've been knowing my whole life. Fuck, she's know? right there. Ah, with, she's right there with the ah. rim there, bro. She just flipped me off. She's not even paying attention. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. She's on TikTok watching the fucking Adams family. She checked out. <laughs> So no, you no. You, plan, you don't plan on leaving IE <laughs> at all. Really. I'll probably go to Texas. I might have to. You guys know how I feel about Texas. I'll move to Menifee with the homie Carlos. <laughs> Menifee's wild. I'm going to Menifee by the Salt and Sea. Five hundred, five hundred mm. houses, bro. You're Jeez. rich. <laughs> it, it's just, it's just hard. Like, like if we're talking for reals, for reals, it's just hard. Like, I would want to move to like somewhere else and have my own house, but then you, you leave family. You leave the pod. Yeah, no, it's not happening. That, that's that's where I'm like. Leave you. You leave your block, and then you walk by. And you're like, I used to live here. I used to. And I was like, no, no I'm keeping a stack. I, I, used I, to, I used to order a fucking Swiss sandwich. A right? chopped cheese. At the bodega. At the bodega. A chopped cheese. With the orange soda, soda, if you know, you know. <laughs> that's a call. That's a good callback. I like that's that. I like that. Back. I like that. Um, more on the. No, the, the only way I would move anywhere would be for business purposes only, and it would be with the boys. That's it. That's what I'm saying, though. That's why it gets hard because it's like. Imagine, imagine having this pod, and then your girl's like, "I just got a good ass job in fucking this state." In Menifee, <laughs> have fun, and, and, and like straight up, you're like, "Fuck!" Like, not do I give up my hopes and dreams of like the pod and shit, or you know what I'm saying, like yeah. the homie. What did Jeezy say on that one song? What did he say? Bitch, don't kill my vibe. I put on for my city. Oh, no, that's, oh. That's, 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 no, that's not even him. When they see me out in traffic, they say Jeezy or some other shit. No, <laughs> I said G Easy. Oh, Jeezy? Yeah. Uh, what do you say, Lalo? Bitch, if I said I fucked your bitch, nah. <laughs> I mean it. He, what did just, he did say that, but I'm referring <laughs> to... <laughs> I'm referring to Bitch, You Got Me Fucked Up. Oh, I didn't hear that Bitch, song. You Got Me Fucked Up. I actually didn't hear that song. That's a banger. Bitch, You Got Me Fucked Up. Bitch. Oh, it's, it's more hype. Wait, so straight up, if all your guys' girls got like a good-ass paying job... And only at, a, at a different... But in a dollars? different state... And you guys were gonna be good. A house, like her job was paying her good for enough to like her like take care of the house or whatever, you know, like all I'm the expenses. Leaving. I'm leaving. I'll, I'll, are you guys going with her? I'm leaving, I'm changing my number. Or, or what's going on? <laughs> Jeez. I might change hey, my you, identification. Hey, you're gonna take care of all I'm a, I'm I'm a, a house I'm a be, daddy. I'm gonna be like this with the dishes. Uh Damn. I'll fucking rub her fucking nah, I'll, feet I'll keep when she gets home. That, that like even hypothetically it's just not realistic for me because Because women don't even get jobs like that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we're back no my lady wouldn't want to move away far from her parents so that's just not happening they're gonna die soon anyway i hope not we're all gonna die that's true but not hopefully not soon well what about you guys though are you, are you guys moving or are you guys like i told you i'm gone bro i'm leaving yeah um no 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 so for here for for the i already have we already have this yeah, yeah no. we have the pod and everything. Would you leave the city? I wouldn't leave. No, I wouldn't leave. Not even the city. I wouldn't. Not the, the city, city of. If we're if we're city? doing it as a group for yeah. business, yeah. No, if I if yeah, like I. What's the ideal city for you, Ontario? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I would. Uh, I, 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 Montana. Why was that funny? <laughs> I'm serious. It's about, a different city. I'm serious about Menifee. Menifee's cool. I'm just, I'm serious about Victorville. Bro. Is there an airport? <laughs> you know they call it Victimville. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Victimville. Yeah. Shout out Hesperia. Hey, have a good drive up there for two hours. <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. How about that? Bro, why can't they just build more freeways up there? I don't get it. They're going to build a fucking bullet train. Because they got to fucking knock down the, the hill. Does that make sense? They could build <laughs> more freeways. There's other ways from other directions. Up more hills. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, but build it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they never thought of that. Changes anything? <laughs> you fucking. There's only so many. He's done. Wait, wait, there's only so many hills. Hey, bro, they're fucking stupid. I didn't think of that. I don't know. Oh, dreams, they need though. to fix it, bro. Dreams. Okay, look. Or put more fucking lanes on the freeway. That's they're working on that. 
Okay. Okay. Fast Pass watch. <laughs> yeah, <for laughs> it's, it's, the Fast Pass starts okay, from look, here now. You guys look, know that? The, look, the, I'm gonna explain <laughs> to you. Ten, it's right here. To you simple, to you simple-minded people. That's like, a bullshit, huh? The high desert is here. There's a big ass hill right here, and then yeah. you guys are here. Whack. The road is like this, right? Yes. No. So other roads would be like this, yeah. which already exists, and there's other roads that would be like this, uh-huh. which is double the time. Dreams, where in that situation are they building another road? On top of it. <laughs> <laughs> put, put like layers. What the fuck to thing it. is this ass for this Like a no parking bridge? garage. You get what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, but it's stupid. There's literally you no. So? <laughs> when does that ever stop me? That's facts. That's facts. You know where there's more of dreams? On the wind down. On the wind down. Make sure you guys wind down. <laughs> All right, this next question comes from Entre Tus Manos X. Entre Tus Manos. He asks, or she asks, how do you deal with adult bullies? Oh, you're getting bullied in your adult life? Grow the fuck up. You little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bully, bully you. Man. I'm going to bully your ass. <laughs> um, just grow the fuck up. I don't Stand know. Your how, how do you under, how do you Stand your fucking ground? I don't know, ground. bro, because I just got bullied the other day, so I don't fucking know. How, how, how do you, you three dogs? You, have three you dogs had it? Crazy. They were like three. <laughs> Chill. You've had an adult bully though. Like you don't ever think like, oh, your supervisor was yeah, ever just I, like a fucking adult I, bully. I, I, yeah, I, th- I think it's just tough because it's like, as an adult, you just care less. Wait, yeah. but like. The only way bullies exist in adult life is like what you're saying. You're it's a fucking like, big ass through bitch. power. Yeah, yeah, through power. Mm-hmm. You know, you know what's crazy that the pussy they, is power. Like those people have power in that situation. And it's like, bro, you, they're just a fucking normal ass human being away from that situation. Yeah, you could the, kill them, right? They're only making a few more thousand than you, bro. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. a lot, actually. <laughs> a uh, few more thousand? No, no fuck. But that. let me catch that fool on the fucking on my block, bro. Nah, yeah, you can do street. shit to that's the fact. Where you buy a chopped cheese and an orange yeah, soda? Yeah, you know, you know. I'm down, Jenny, from the block. <laughs> You ever had to deal with an adult if bully? Have you been about that guy, fool? But maybe it's not maybe even I, like an. Uh, maybe maybe it's the coworker that's just fucking annoying, and maybe they're not a bully. In, my per adult se. bully's just my mom, bro. bro. Just fucking tell people they're bullies. That fucking, you're a bully. No, well, not in that <laughs> fucking. Lalo be just like, just don't be poor. No, <laughs> no, in that tone, don't say it. But it's like, bro, you you a fucking bully or what? You ever had to deal with an adult bully? Do you know how fucking bad that makes you feel? Especially if they were bullies or if they were bullied back in the day. Uh, Everybody has a fraction of getting bullied some type of way and they're like, they don't like it. Just just be like, hey, oh, are you a fucking bully or what, bro? Like, no, you're right. I don't fuck with bullies. A lot of times some bullies will become bullies because they got bullied. Yeah. That's, you so when you that. tell them shit like that, I they'll be like, oh, that, shit, bro. Yeah. When I talk to me like in a minute, it's like, bro, are you fucking bully? Are you trying to bully me, bro, or what? Yeah. And it's like, it's in a funny demeanor. But it's just like, oh shit, is that what I'm doing? Yes, and not just to me, to everybody else. Stop doing that shit. You're a bitch. And yeah, just like, bro, like that's that. I'm not gonna be bullied by you. I'm an adult. I'm not gonna be bullied by you. Yeah. Fair problem. You can step the fuck outside and beat oh, the fuck shit. up. Think <laughs> chill, 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 chill. Oh, sorry, sorry. What's the first time you ever dealt with an adult bully? My, mom. My first fucking job. I'm sure you're the same way. Yeah, it was. Because they friend. think, but they, was it? The, were they a manager for real? For real? Yeah. Or was it like they were just they, like yeah, trying to qu- be? They, no, they made a quarter more than me. They thought they could talk to me a certain way because they worked there for five years, and it's like they ain't got no fucking job. And they fuck, make this apple they, pie. No, <laughs> they don't have no fucking ambition with their life, and they think that this is gonna ride their wave all the way up the coattails. It's like, bro, you know, like you can go to a warehouse down the block and make more than what you're making here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like, you're not shit to nobody. But because you're here and you've been here for you, you feel like you own this place. Years. And it's like now nah, a younger food comes in. And it's like, hey, nobody else is gonna stay late. You gotta stay late. And because you don't know better and you're younger, yeah, you, you this just stay. what I gotta do. You work stay up and the you ranks. do it because that's what you think. Like, oh, I gotta keep this job. I gotta work up the ranks. I, 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 yeah, as a man, like you're like, oh, I gotta keep this job. I can't get fired from here. At least majority of guys would think like that. Like, I gotta thug it out. And then like later on, you start to talk to people like, hey, don't let them bitch you around and make you do things that you're not supposed to be doing. Yeah, mm-hmm. and you start to. Get the game and you're like, oh, you got to speak up for yourself in this fucking life. Mm-hmm. Or you're just going to be bullied the rest of your life. Yeah. That's why you speak the fuck up. And yeah. I, and I it's just coming from a nice person because I was actually very, very nice growing up. Like, and I was very like, oh, I'm down. I'll do it. Whatever I'll do, I'll do it. Mm-hmm. But then I got into that fucking mindset and I, they're like, nah, you just... If you're just gonna be a yes man to people, they're going to treat you like yes man. Well, I got a fucking LLC, dog. You can't talk to me as well. Oh, yeah, you're right. I... I like two years ago I fucking me and Gazelle would play FIFA together and I was venting to him for, about the same shit where it's like this guy got promoted to a seasonal lead bro he wasn't even like a lead lead he was like a seasonal lead you know what I'm saying this guy was making a dollar more than me 
for like for what, that flu season, season flu season you know for it's mm -hmm. like it was during like thanksgiving and christmas you know it gets busier during those times during the holidays yeah, peak times and this was like this was like a fucking cholo like um that fool had a bald head tattoos on his head yeah and he, he was cute yeah. and that that fool thought like he was, <laughs> like that fool was just like pushing me around and shit bro like where my chopped cheese yeah <laughs> yeah that fool was just pushing me around and shit like um you know we have we would have like 15 minute breaks or 10 minute breaks or some shit like that and they would call those shits hella late bro like let's say our break was at eight they'd call that shit like at eight oh eight oh five or some shit like that and since it was 10 minutes they'd want us back at eight ten, right but so they call that shit late and they'd call that shit at eight ten, and we're like bro we've been on break for five minutes so we're like chill you know we'd be like well they call that shit late so we're gonna go wait a little bit you know yeah, what i'm saying take our 15 minutes and then that food would come up to me bro straight up me like not the fucking everybody in the break room mm -hmm. that food would come up to me like Hey, break's over. What are you doing? Still sitting down. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, yo, what the heck? Like, everybody's still fucking chilling. One and two, you, you call break late as fuck, you know? And three, you're a fucking seasonal lead, bro. Yeah. You know? Shut your bitch ass exactly. up. Exactly, yeah. And, but and, not for this season. Next season, shut the fuck up. And and you just always fucking like pick on you. Pick on me, bro. And pick on me and pick on me. Because you were probably the youngest too of the group. Mm, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe I was the youngest, but we're all around the same age. So I don't know if it was like. Yeah, okay. That big, that big of a deal that He's was. He's like a step to you. That's all it is. Yeah, and yeah, and, yeah, yeah. And um, and just always, bro. And then this one time, like me and my girl were sitting together. We were working at together at the time, and he, I don't even remember what he told me, bro. But like some fucked up shit, and I was like, what the fuck? Just and, like this I, fucking I, chicken. I, and um, and he just fucking yelled at me, bro. He yelled at me, and I was like, what the fuck? And I told my girl, like, keep walking. Like I'm gonna talk to this fool. And I told him, like, hey, what the fuck? Like you have a problem with me, or what? Like what's up? Like you're always picking on me. Like, um, like, and one, you talk to me like that in front of my girl, bro. Like, relax, I'll you know, chill, fuck you up. Like, chill, chill out. This one was like probably like 40, 50, maybe. Yeah. And it's yeah. a good thing you told her to walk away because then he would have been like, You're just doing this because your girl, yeah. Right here. And so he was like, And and that fool, like, that fool didn't like, I ain't no snitch, bro. I like, I, I handled that shit man to man, you know, yeah. I was like, like I, I don't appreciate you talking to me like that. Like, that's fucked up. Like, one, you're pointing me, like, you have so many other people to tell, and you're always coming to me. And then you did that shit in front of my girl. And then that fool was like, nah, like, it's not personal. Like, whatever. Like, I, I got to tell everybody this shit, you know? And I was like, yeah, but you didn't tell everybody this shit. Whatever, right? Bro, next day, they call me into the fucking office, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we heard you're being, um, you're not listening to the leads out there. We heard you're being- The seasonal guy? <laughs> disrespectful to the leads. And yeah. I was like, what the fuck? He's a picker as soon as I got, the season ends. Merry I Christmas. got so fucking pissed. I was like, he was in the wrong. I told him, like, straight up. And that fool went to go snitch on me. Yeah. I got pussy. so pissed, bro. Pussy. My, my, my dad has a cool ass story about that when I was younger. This is back in like 2002 when there's no fucking camera phones and like there's barely cameras at the workplace. Back, when yeah. you can, back in the good days. Back you know? when you could hit a bitch. Huh? I think my dad told me something like uh, <laughs> he had a, had a play. Yeah, supervisor. That's always like saying some shit to him. Like, yeah. same, same, same thing that you're explaining. But he would say like, I think he, might, he would say like racial slurs on my dad. Like thinking it was cool with him. Yeah. He's like, hey, wet back, get back to work. Hey, Francisco, you wet back, yeah. get back to work. This oh, and that. shit. You know, he would he, he get back to fucking. One of those white people you that know you, it starts off as a joke, but it's like, oh no, now you really. And, and now people are around you are hearing him and like, talk yeah. to you this way. My dad's like, I let that shit slide for like two days. It's like the third day, we we, we, go, we all go out to lunch and shit, and then we come back walking into the warehouse, you know? He's all like, and I just waited for him around the corner. Around the corner, like, I knew he was, he'd drag his feet and be the last food. Obviously, he told me all this in Spanish. And like he waited for him, he knew there was no cameras there. Like where they come back into the warehouse, mm -hmm. and then he waited for him. And then like he he the guy walked by himself. He had no friends, obviously the way he was talking to my, my dad. And he waited for him, and then just like the at the he saw him, he just walked up to him. He walked out like he was gonna walk past him. He just grabbed him by like the chest, he put him up against the wall. No, way. he's like it's the last time you fucking talk to me like that. You don't you don't, you don't fuck. He's like I, I speak perfectly well, good English. You're fucking nobody. Mm -hmm. You're just supervisor. If you, this, you feel how sh I will fuck you up. Like, do not talk to me in that fucking manner. You talk to me with respect because I talk to you with respect. Never had a problem with that guy ever again. Imagine that guy would have been like, no hablo tortilla. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Imagine the, just, just continue <laughs> just, just, like, yeah. just leaned in. And, like, yeah. and yeah. the guy never, he never had a problem with him. But that's, he's like, and the, when he told me that, is it a current, long time is, ago. Wait, oh, it wasn't this job? No, it was yeah, it was, I'm, no, no, no. It was like the whole old where it was old where. Oh, yeah. And he's like, the, then you, you know, you gotta. Yeah, man, cameras ruin sometimes in a yeah, way. You gotta stand your ground sometimes with people. Nah, but that, that fucking guy, bro, like, that happened like like for like three months straight, bro. And so they they were told like, okay, we're gonna have seasonal leads. Some of you are gonna be able to stay on as leads. Some of you aren't. That fool did not get hired as a lead, bro. 
That fool after came and apologized to me. After once he found out he wasn't hired as lead. Hey, man, like, we cool or not? Like, just want, mm. like, you know, I was just doing my job. And I was like, whatever, bro. Like, we're, me and you, I told him, I was like, I was like, me and you are not cool. Like, I don't I don't yeah. appreciate the way you treated me when you, when you had power. When and, you thought you had yeah. power, yeah. And um, after it's that. It's okay to make mistakes, though. Some fools make mistakes like that. The fuck car that, trip. bro. Bro, nah, I don't give true. a fuck if I'm a lead or not. I'm still, like, I. It's about respect, ass, bro. bro. It's about I, respect. I just. You just treat people fine, bro. Good. I know, but I know that not everybody handles it that way. Is what I'm saying. It basically, like you, like you, you forgive you, someone you for your... for handling your, for not being able to handle. It. Even though you would never do it, like I could still forgive someone for like not being able to handle themselves properly. I don't know, personally. Fuck all that. That, oh, that. 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 I'll say it again. That. Leave that shit for the fucking birds, bro. Yeah. Fact. Nah. Learn how to fucking talk to people and be good to people and yeah. good that, things that, will happen. That, to that you. fool had power and thought he was gonna stay in power, bro. Straight up. That's it. That's all it was. He thought he was gonna be able to. And keep then when he fucking that realized that he wasn't, it was like, oh, oh shit. I'm like level. I, you're not the only person you did that to. You are not the only person. You, it may have felt like that to you, but I'm sure you did that to minimally to somebody else. And he had to do the same thing he did to you to that guy. Apologize. Or someone I'm not did a to him. Yeah, exactly. And it's just like, bro, that's not yeah. how that works. In the end, like you see how like the universe works itself, like where it's, it works itself out the way it's supposed to. Because in the end, he didn't get the fucking job, and he came to apologize to you. It's like, yeah, because because you weren't fit for the fucking job, bro. Because 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 he was a he was up here above me. For three months, and then all of a sudden, he's literally right back to work. I am. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like... Which, if he was smart enough, he would have known that. Is he a trucker, too? Do you know? No, this was my old job. Uh, no. uh, we were working at Nike. You're probably ahead, too, now. I don't know. Probably I guess the way that. you have to... I guess what everyone's here is saying is basically you have to stand up for yourself. Yeah, well, like, well, Lalo said it best. Belief. Like, if you don't fucking speak the fuck up, then you're just not going to get... Sh like, that's one thing, like, I admire about this fool is that he always speaks his, his mind... But, like, keeps it, like, at a fucking certain, like, tonality, you know? Whereas, like, maybe you or I will maybe fucking raise it or we'll lower it. But this food, like, he'll keep it here. And I feel like that's probably the best way to approach situations because people can't be like, oh, well, you fucking raised your voice at me or whatever the fuck. Like, or you were, you know? No, this fool is level-headed. He's always... It makes it hard to lose a com uh, argument. For yeah, sure. you will not fucking lose one. What are you gonna uh, say? Uh, even he if raised his voice, he didn't do it. Yeah, he yeah. didn't. But and he like he speaks his mind, but he keeps it here, you know. Yeah. And I think that's the best way to approach situations like that, where it's like if you feel like you're getting bullied, keep it fucking here, level headed, but still speak your mind. Where it's, just tell them what the fuck you feel, or her. You know what I heard she, is whatever. a good trick. I heard is a good trick if you. If someone's bullying you or something like, or they're saying something, or they're being rude to you, right? That, and I've used it a couple times, it does work. Is you stop and you look at them for a second and you just go, Are you okay? And they literally just like, and They just crack you. <laughs> 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 you think I'm a bitch? <laughs> they turn you over and they're just like, <laughs> you No, but I, it, it does work though. I've used it a couple times. I've just been like, Are you okay? And, and they just literally just kind of go like, Just, they just like, whatever you, you ever and seen sometimes they'll just sometimes they'll apologize sometimes yeah. they don't but you're just like you're the problem i said it once before and i'll say it again it, what always works at least for <laughs> i did on my girl a lot because i talked to her <laughs> to talk to that thought i just beat the she shit no, no 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 yeah. uh, i uh, i i just be like just dick slapper she'll, she'll talk to me a certain way and i just be like hmm i'm having a bad day <laughs> <laughs> hey that's the thing about lado you always keep no, it level no, right yeah. here i do it to my girl same lot. tone tonality and, 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 and I've, I've done it to other people bro it's, yeah. it's, it just gets the point across. i'm a little bitch <laughs> no, imagine, my, girl? It, imagine my imagine my supervisor's like yelling at me and i go i'm having a bad day so everybody has to have a bad day <laughs> i'm a seasonal lead <laughs> Yeah, I like just bro. It's just like it, just, it, it brings like the whole. It's just like this is how you sound to me right now, bro. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're this saying. is the energy you're putting out. Hmm. Yeah, Eduardo, can we? Can I see you in my office? Hey, your Eduardo, performance is that. Your, your performance just hasn't been up to par. I think we're gonna have to. Hmm, I think I'm having a bad <laughs> day. <laughs> no, when they pull inside, look. Yes, he a lot. That's how I yeah, talk to you. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. No, I get what you're saying. You're you're bringing the situation from a fucking like. Look, this is how serious you think it is, but in reality, this is how you you're sounding right now. This is how you're coming across. Wait, oh, my I'm girl, curious, my I'm girl curious. tripped out over a fucking coffee. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Leave it on. No, then you gotta take out the six dollars shit. No, leave, leave it on. It's cool. Look, because you're starting an argument right now. I don't give a fuck. Wait, I'm curious. How does she react after you fucking do that? 
She just knows. She's like, got it. I'm being stupid right now. As she should. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, bro, you're in. I mean, I mean, Dream C. I mean, Dream C. Dream C. That, that seems crazy. It possesses dude. you. Look, even I'm just like. Wait. No, but like, wait, wait, wait. wait. She, she does. I get what you're yeah, saying. Like you sometimes, because even I've overreacted in situations where it's like, you, why are you being so upset right now? You know. Yeah. And it's like we all go through those moments, and sometimes you just need somebody to be like, look, hey, you're being a fucking, you're a being bitch. a little, you're being a little drama queen right now. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you need daddy to put you in your place. That's what? right, Lalo. What? What? Hey, sue me. You know where else? Sue me. <laughs> see more of Lalo. Sue me. No. Don't sue me. <laughs> you can Don't see more it. of Lalo on the fucking wind down. Yeah. Yeah. Wind, down slash wind up. Yeah. I'll be winding it up at the wind down. Honestly, so. you, you got to just stand up for yourself because it's Facts. your it's your life. It's your life at the end of the day. It, especially if they don't have like a power over you like they're not your boss or anything like that like bro they're just they're <laughs> especially if they're your co-worker bro yeah, yeah. and you do, the same, you do the same thing bro yeah, yeah like get the fuck like, up they got no like power in that position over you because like, at the end of the day we're all fucking human beings bro we're all fucking equal Facts. we're all the fucking johnny same, said bro. it best johnny said yeah, it best. i'm a fucking human being dog johnny it, said it best. so so don't like it's understandable if they're like a higher power to you but if they're not, fuck them, bro. Like, yeah, exactly. God. When the alien invasion, to your point, when the alien invasion comes through, the <laughs> aliens are going to be like, are you a supervisor? <laughs> where, are the, exactly. where are the regular employees? Because I'm exactly. after them. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, the We're all like, human beings. The zombie's like, where <laughs> are the regular employees? <laughs> <laughs> where is the 1950 making motherfuckers? <laughs> where is the <it's> an- <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I, look, it's, the, I'm, it's your life. <laughs> It's your life, basically, and you're gonna you're gonna be the one who has to live in, in your make your bed. All right, let's wrap it up. <laughs> you're the one. You're the one who's gonna have to like lay in bed and think about those moments, and you're gonna be like, I should have said this. Yeah, said that. cause that's the worst. Living with yourself. Yeah. Living with yourself after the matter and not saying what you wanted to say. No regrets. That's like the worst. Where you're just like, fuck, why the fuck did I say that shit? Or, no. or you can go fucking drive to Winko, bro. They have 60 eggs for like $12. <laughs> what the fuck? You're going to go egg their house? <laughs> go grab some eggs. Go go pull up some, get some homies. And you, you fucking started throw, there. You egg those fucking, that house. You egg their house or fucking car, bro. What the fuck? And guess what? Home? You feel good. They feel like shit the next morning when you they wake up. You fed the pigeon. And you know where else you can see more of Beto? On the, the wind down. down. Wind it up. Wind it up. All right, y'all. Um, is that a good point to end it? To go to How the wind down? Yeah. Should we go to the wind down now? Speaking of the wind down? What is, uh, wait, what is the it? what? The wind down? What is that? Where is that? It's on patreon.com slash whatever the fuck we... Wind whatever the fuck the And is it, is it after? Dark? And is I it, don't know. And is it like last week where the wind down was low-key better than the actual oh podcast? It wasn't that where the soft launch we did? Yeah. So uh, there might be a link in the description below. I don't know. But shout out my girl for her $6 OnlyFans. That's right. Love shout you, baby. Beautiful. Shout out my friends. Shout out everybody who's been shining us out. Shout out all the guests that we've had on recently. If you guys have been watching us, we've been fucking going off. Lalo's been killing it, booking Thanks, all the guests. Gazelle's been killing it with the insight. <laughs> Beto's been killing it with his job. <laughs> Bree's been yeah. killing it, bro. Just fucking yeah, shit. Yeah. Bree, yeah. you're fucking yeah. give it up for yeah. Bree yeah. in the yeah. back. She's the one on the ones and twos right now. Yeah. She actually edited this podcast. She went crazy. Powered by Gemini. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for everybody who's been listening. And I'm going to pass my shout outs on to Beto. That's right, Beto. I want to shout out my girl That's who's right. in the back right now. That's right. We have yeah, not acknowledged her. I want to shout out everybody who supports, everybody who right. comments on all our fucking podcasts, bro. Like, we notice the same people that comment on every yes, single sir. podcast. So, yeah. shout out to you guys. Yeah, 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 shout out to the yeah, people yeah. that are going to go to the wind down after Try. this, bro. Wind it up. And sh- just shout out to our YouTube channel. I think we're going to be back pretty soon. So, hopefully. Oh, nice. We've been here, but okay, go off. Hopefully, 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 we can post pretty soon. And we're going to be dropping two times a fucking week. So go subscribe. We will not be posting two times a week. So, go subscribe to Brianna and Beto. Yes, on sir. YouTube. Oh, that's the YouTube channel yeah. talking about. Yeah. Um, also, go follow me on Instagram. I haven't accepted anybody. I'm private right now because of the whole lawsuit thingy. But I will accept you guys as soon as I can. Sure. So, go follow me on Instagram at Lord. Oh, shit. That's my only Instagram. Nah, it's Beto19V. <laughs> Beto19V. Hey, <laughs> Beto <19V. laughs> hey, Gazelle, pop it. Pop nah, it. Lord, Beto. Pop, pop, pop like 60 of them up. And go, and go follow Bri at Bree.77. Damn. Pop it super small right here. That's it. And mm. with that, I'll give my shout outs to. Oh, also, shout out all the fucking truckers right now. Nope, you passed. All, all right. the, nope, you passed. You kind of passed it. Fuck. Sorry, truckers. Fuck. Next week, next week, next week. <laughs>
<laughs> and I gotta wrap it up. Uh, you gotta wrap it up. Who are you passing it to, Beto? To Gazelle. Ah, oh. no, hot potato. With, to, and you'll be able to hear his to, shout-outs on the wind down. Right oh, let's go. To, to Gazelle, the one that puts it on your belly. Yeah. Oh. All right, y'all. I want to give a quick shout-out to the people who be, like Beto said. Arbitro. No, bitch, I just started. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> and the old motherfucker comes in for you? <laughs> <laughs> I want to give I a quick shout-out to, all right, to the top of your head right now, who be in the comments killing it? My girl. I know. Muchacho. Muchacho, Naomi's dreams. Naomi's mm. dreams. Who else? Who, you, who else you guys got? Uh, Fuck, there's man. that one guy. He comments like three times in one episode. Oh yeah, he what? does. Yeah. But I love that for his comments. That's a homie. That's a homie. But Pull he's cool as better. fuck. I want to give up, a quick shout out to the be, He always showing out. Shout, shout out to up. Angel Lopez who had the highest like comment on the last ah, podcast. Shit, Angel yeah. Lopez. He said these episodes be going so fast. I need a seven hour episode. Stop yeah. it, Angel. You wouldn't listen, dude. Well, that's gonna be happening on the wind, wind down, down. So make sure you guys go and purchase that. Wind it up for just seventy dollars per episode. You can have the entire PLP library in that's your right. the palm of your hand. Be but yeah, episode. I know <laughs> Muchacho be in there. I know Naomi's dreams be in there. I know Haru Haru Kai be in there sometimes. Oh, Clarissa. Oh, Cl- Clarissa, Clarissa being that curtains. Curtains. Cortinas There's the curtains yeah. Not the oh, curtains curtain. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the curtain. So shout out to all y'all who be We be noticing you guys uh, Every week And I be replying mm. I'll be in there All this fucking time Shout out to The guests we ha- we had on Shout out to the fucking Bueno Bueno part We, we recorded with them That shit was banger yeah. Shout out to George Orozco Oh George Orozco And and shout out to Sleepy Brown That Sleepy was Brown. crazy was Did you guys like that one? That was a dream come true It was amazing he, was, he may be sleepy, but that was a dream come true. That's true. We had sleepy and dreams on the same pod. But that was crazy. Right. Try not to make that joke, nobody slapped. But uh, yeah, <laughs> hey, we got a bang. We got some bangers coming up for you guys in the future. Lalo's been cooking it up in the lab. And uh, that already my happened. lady, we're actually gonna go celebrate her birthday tonight. Happy mm. birthday to that's, her. That's her birthday. Oh. Happy birthday. Oh. And shout out to my cousin Beto. I know we told it, we said it last week. I'm like, Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, my boy. March 25th is his birthday. Uh, yeah. You guys probably put happy birthday in the comments on that last episode we, we brought it up, but drop it in this fucking episode too. Happy birthday, Beto. Happy birthday, Raven. Happy birthday. Mm. There you go. But yeah, shout out to everybody who be supporting us. Shout out, shout out to my lady and shout out to Beto. Yeah. Happy birthday to them. And shout out to the night we're going to have tonight, man. We're going to have a good ass night. And make sure you guys drop down Esel Avarez, whatever his fucking name, down in the comments below Great. to enter the giveaway yeah. for our fuck a fan <laughs> fucking giveaway that's happening nope. this week. And this with that being week. said, I'm a hot potato to Lalo. All right. I'm a hot potato to Brie. <laughs> <laughs> that's a hard ass potato. You want to shine anybody out, Brie? She said uh, no. She said that too, Beto's man. right here. That's, that's crazy. crazy. That's, that's crazy. crazy. Beto's wow. right here. That's crazy. Nope. Hey, your time's crazy, up. You pass it up. I shout her out every episode. She can't that's shout crazy. me out once. She couldn't do one thing. That's wild, bro. One thing. What are you doing true. on the ones and twos? For real. We should be on the three and fours. Anyways. <laughs> uh, shout out to everybody who, who's watching. Shout out to the landscapers, the truckers that nobody has shouted out today. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, shout wild. out to the warehouse workers. Shout out to everybody who like cleans like toilets or some shit. The janitors. Yeah, custodian. <laughs> Crazy. No, no, I was just saying. <laughs> no, the deta- the detailers. The sanitation. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we do. Yeah. We we do. I, mean, I follow by a lot of detailers that be listening to us while they detail cars and shit. Oh, Wash yeah? my car. Yeah, peasant. Shout, shout out to them. Uh, shout out to everybody who listens. Shout out to everybody that's here. Shout out to my family. Shout out to my girl. And with that, we out. Peace. Peace. And with that, wind down. Wind down. Wind down. Wind down.